kicking like Dolomite. Last one got copyright. I'm kicking like Dolomite. Hey, hey, one time, you ready? Last one got copyright. Hey! You know what time it is. Every time I rhyme, it's just a sign that I'm about to kill. Yeah, it's time for weapon, Will. We got the skill, we got the games, don't make me grab it still. I put a hole in one like Abby did to Joe, yeah, for real. And when it comes to aiming, I don't miss like Master Chief. I'll grab the piece and give your ass a halo just for talking sweet. When it comes to gaming, yeah, you know our team's elite. Check the leaderboards, run the game, you should pick up your feet. You can't lose them too smooth, just going to admit defeat. And ain't no capping around here, cause like Bond, I keep receipts. The most dangerous, better than these other guys. Try to come for us, what's like between your eyes like Jen Sakai? That's no lie, no prank. I grab the ratchet, no clank, and get my jiggy mask to show you how Jack Move got his name. Yeah. Look. Look. Look, king of the castle like Cooper, captain of the ship. My name ain't Blandry, but don't make me have to hit the switch. We'll dump you overboard, then watch the views. I ain't talking Twitch. Hey yo, Alex, go ahead. Talk to him real quick. Oh, that Dolomite is my name, and fucking up motherfuckers is my game. Dolomite motherfucker, you heard of? Claim it. A strike to claim it. Say yo, still putting wheels on the pavement. My game's so tight, it's like Jordan one lays. We stay in these gaming streets, ain't no way to be dormant. Hey, a Drake will leave your body uncharted like Lost Fortune. Coke all on scene was cute, hey, and yeah, it served its purpose. But I'm trying to give a detailed description of what a hearse is. I say we flip the switch on these niggas before it get bland. I see a lot of pods jack in the format like that, but damn, you hitting the dislike button? You still a fan? Talk slick in the comments and like Dutch, I got a plan. We don't do the sneak dissing, that's that stuff that get you banned. Last time we told your ass to squat up, you turn telling right? Gotta go. It's like I play with the sliders up. Get in. You just got 30 niggas, heard me, the time is up. Since 2015, we been kicking game knowledge up. Dust your boots and join the crew if you wild enough. Developers, developers, developers. 40 clips, kicking like Dolomite. Hey, 40 clips. Aimed at your fit, beam, shoddy, so much ammo, it don't make sense. Trying to compete is a sacrifice, die again in your afterlife. I'm taking a road trip anytime you niggas want to fight. Only guns and body counts, that's all that I tend to like. Any other podcast, a copy, it look alike. Hey, hey, and what they say? What they say, huh? Hey, what I say? I put them in the dirt. Toss like get hurt, no face, no case. Smash up like a Jiggy merch shirt. Sliding in that vent, I won't get back. Time to pay that debt. It's time for weapon with Tony, how's life been? Oh, brother. <laughs> All I'm asking is how life has been. Why is it an old brother moment? Hey, bro, don't worry about it, bro. I DM Tony. You know L-O-L. It was crazy. Hey, y'all know the battle back on, man. Tony want to be inconspicuous so bad. Jack, December don't switch 16th, up now. Man. Don't switch December up now, 16th, Jack. Y'all, y'all ready, man? He want to be in- in- inconspicuous switch so up about bad. What? Remember when uh, I, was, I was concerned about Tony like a few weeks ago? I was like, anybody see Tony? Is is he still alive? And Jack was like, well, I hope not. Man, I had been huh? DM Tony. I had been DM Tony about that shit, man. Uh huh. Ask Tony. Tony, haven't I been in your DMs looking for you, brother? I did. I did see a DM asking where I was. Yes, sir. I did. I see, did. there you go. See, I already. I checked in on my young boy, man. Don't don't do that, BG. Why didn't you make a? Why didn't you make another video where you said, uh, "Where's Tony Yokio?" Uh, on your YouTube, like you did last time. Tony Yokio. No, sir, no, sir. Y'all don't remember he made that uh redemption tour video where he was like, Where's Tony? Where's Tony? Where's Tony? like a compilation of everybody talking about Tony? Y'all don't remember that? <laughs> vaguely. Uh, yeah, vaguely. Yeah. I, I uh say, I actually invited so somebody. Much heat, I forget. Ew. <laughs> I 
So I invited somebody to the podcast, uh, <clears throat> right? And they was like, "I ain't come. I can't come on because there's somebody on there I, I I don't f with." Guess who? Guess <gasps> who it was that they ain't f with? It has probably to be me. probably me. Smooth. It must be smooth. Nah, you would think it would it would be Bond, but it was Alex. Who it, was the? <laughs> Of course, bro. Of course, hey, that's bro. fire. Who he, was it? Who was it? Listen, nah, I, I can't say nigga, who was, but I, but, I, I was this close to not pulling out. Can, can, can you about. name it to me? I, I want to. Yo, who he, was he it? Said, that's fire. Funny. He said you a cold weirdo. That's oh, fire. Who said oh, that? Who could he that be? Lying. He said you a. He said you a weirdo, and you just be doing weird stuff, and he don't. He don't f with you. That must it's be probably that, Kofi. That's gotta be Kofi. I'm not saying who. He but he just said you got beef with Kofi. No, nah, I, I yeah, he probably, he probably heard that. Uh, <laughs> no, don't, like, don't you know, you know, Tony got to defend his daddy. Um, Kofi, cool. I watch his content, but I, I was just sick of the look. We we can have this talking after dark, but listen, you're not gonna fool me with a couple videos. Come on, that, we're not about to do that. Come on, and I didn't say it was Kofi, I'm not saying who it is, but uh, you said you'd be on some I weird w- time. Yo, who, whoever it is, you got to see me, beat. You got to see me. That's funny. Whoever it is, you know, I, if um, if he likes to talk about it, pull up to After Dark. He 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 did mention something. You did. He said you did something weird with an own with with an OnlyFans. I don't know the context of that. Oh, that is. Oh, that is. <laughs> Wait a minute. That might be there, right? Oh no. Oh, no. Why are you being weird, Alex? He talking about. One night. He talking about. I remember one night. He talking about because I was I, kicking um, it. Go ahead, go ahead. I remember one night. I remember one night. Me and Kofi was kicking it, playing some dice or whatever. And I remember a nigga pulled up and asked him to uh, battle Alex in the jiggy league. That nigga just started going federal on Alex. Oh, <laughs> bro, that is oh, funny. Man. He's talking about because I took a screenshot of him and his girls YouTube video and put OnlyFans at the bottom. I said, "Is this what we doing now?" Uh, shout out Kofi, man. Good game, and make sure y'all subscribe and tap in. Him and Jay may end up putting the community if you, on If you did that. If you, exactly. nah, like that's some weird shit. Every like chance he get, he he oh, right though. That's some weird shit. Why would you do bro, that? Bro, that this is nigga hilarious. Talking, this nigga but be we, calling in the king of the safe takes, all kind of. He shit. is. He is. Why bro, would you bro, do that though, bro, Alex? You're a weirdo for that. Man. Look, as a, as a as a mature black man, I appreciate Half his black. content to YouTube. But one thing we are not gonna do. I've been watching YouTube since y'all niggas before y'all was even on here. We're not about to sit here and act like this low level Akeem's journey ass content with him and his girl. We don't fucking see that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Stay up. Stay. On, and, stay on topic, and, Octoroon. This and, is the king and, of safe takes. Oh, man, what are we talking about, man? I love the game. Oh, come on, come on, man. Come on. This, like, this, no, this nigga, why, shut up. Why, You're making the podcast this boring. This, this why Kofi ain't pull up, bro. That's why Kofi. Cool. And this nigga photoshopped the, the Brazzers logo on the on the booty shorts picture. Fire, Ooh, nigga. On, and, and, I, I photo, and I photoshopped the nigga laying in his bed when he had jean shorts. Fire, nigga. All right, I'm, oh, I'm, 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 on, I'm on the dude who didn't come side. I'm on his side because oh, you, you a weirdo for that. I'm on his side. Bro, it's, it's jokes, but he said, but bro, okay. Nah, not when you put not when you put the logo on his, the bro, OnlyFans logo bro. with him and his girl. Not that. I, that ain't, nigga, joke. I, that ain't nigga, jokes. I had, I had a little bit of chuckle. I chuckled when I made nah, it. Nah, ain't funny. We are not going to act like this nigga. Kofi with a capital K, Tony's daddy, isn't the king of safe oh, taste. We can have this talking after dark if y'all See, want you See, you switching up the topic. No, no, listen, Octoroon, stay on the, stay on the, stay on the wife and the OnlyFans. You went too far, sir. Bro, all right, for the people listening, because I don't look at the YouTube comments when we do this. For the niggas listening in the Discord, nigga, we Photoshop, we joke, we roast. If he saw the picture, great. Hey, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, nigga. You still the king of but safe takes. You know you can't Photoshop niggas' wives, though. You can't. You can't Photoshop it nothing a, involving niggas' I wives. All I did was photo. All I did was put an OnlyFans logo. You text can't box. do that, sir. Okay, how about this? How about this, uh, BG? Listen, y'all, y'all you, Photoshop. You? Y'all, listen, y'all Photoshop everything with me. Y'all how go about, crazy, but it's you? me, so I don't care. How, how about you, Kofi, and Akeem's journey? Yo, Go make a couple videos together. Cup. Let's do that. Let's exactly. Do that. Yo, y'all, they have the, the most <laughs> insane photoshops of me. Like, this joint, y'all, y'all crazy with the shit I do. But I don't care. I don't mind it. You know why? Because it's just me. It's all, now, it's all if, in now, if one of y'all, well, Now, if one of y'all put out some weird photoshop of pictures with me and my wife, yeah, I'm not down with that either. Look, BG. All of us have been a victim of Photoshop. We got I I make photoshops for jokes. I done made photoshops for niggas and it's all honky dory. But because the nigga that uh discovered a puddle on Spider Man and he wears a beanie indoors, I don't care about the, like nigga, it's jokes. Like plus you're not fully that. black, so you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, y'all on, remember bro. this when this nigga Alex was, was asking like, on, what did I do bro, like three bro. minutes ago? 
He said, "Why do you with Alex saying to a certain extent? You know, like at, at a certain point, you just got Alex, to Alex was acting like, what did I do three minutes ago? But this nigga been going to federal for the whole five minutes. Oh no, I, I didn't. I didn't know who he was talking about. I've been, bro. I've been saying this on. I've been saying this for months. You guilty, I used to nigga. watch. I used to watch play uh, press star podcast. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm muting when Kofi and Alex talk. I'm sorry. You, you're guilty. You gotta nigga. ignore it at some point. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's jokes. Like niggas getting niggas getting they feelings. You're, you're guilty, on, nigga. Just say you're guilty. Yeah, he, he a grown ass man. See, bro. this Pull this is this is this nigga. is your white side never wanting to admit guilt. This is definitely your white side. So if I just I, want so you to know that. So this is my white side. So I should get a navy green t shirt then too, huh? And, and go build a PC. Fuck out of here. Let's go. See, that, 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 there you go the white. Intros, bro. There you <laughs> go the white man. There you go that white man in him. Just blame no, everybody no, else, no. not taking no accountability. Just pillage, just pillaging, I... destroying. That's all they know how to do. Just colonize. I did. I said, hey, I made the Photoshop. I thought it was funny. I hinky honky dorried about it. But yeah. you know. Colonizer behavior. Shout out, shout hey, out. Bro. Hey, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Go subscribe to Good Gamer. Shout out that boy J Main and his do rag. Shout out Kofi. Good good guys over there, man. Good game. Man. Mm -hmm. What is going on here today? You know, just this colonizer side coming out. But anyway, <laughs> let's get to the uh, to the pod. Hope everybody is having a, a good Sunday so far. Fabulous Sunday. Um, Fire. Some games came out this week. You know, I hope niggas play games out here. I can only hope. And um, we're going to get right to the shits. This is Weapon Will Podcast, episode 346. We are on iTunes, Google Play, Google Play, Spotify, all your favorite audio live streaming platforms. Uh, if you want to support the podcast, we have a Patreon, right? You get access to After Dark, get access to the Weapon Wheel Discord. You could hit that join button on the on the YouTube page, become part of the channel memberships. And uh, our Discord is is very popping. I just I just want to say that every week. I'm proud of what our Discord has been. Oh God, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you know what? I got to give I got to give Hardhead his credit because Hardhead is really like he's the CEO. He's the, you know, the the financial guy. He's the 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 That's mall. That's what the look like that. No. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's the mall the, he's cop. The mall. He plays every role. Why is Bond Bond? Is, is that Bond Bond? You all right, brother? Nah, he is for me too. Yeah. He's the mall cop. Like he plays every role in the in the Discord, right? So I, I give Hardhead his credit. Thank you, sir. You need to thank all the people that that came together to make your Discord better, though. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I do thank everybody. All you, all you, you know, bastards in, in the <coughs> Discord and your de degenerates that make it entertaining. I appreciate y'all for for participating, man. I will say one thing: it be feeling like it's kind of time out happy. Every I don't be in there like that, but it do feel like niggas get timed out for anything now. I don't oh, know. Mean, Ain't nobody got timed out in a couple of days. I think I Bond think, tried to time somebody out the other day, but I untimed him out immediately. I forgot what I think. <laughs> shout out my boy Jay got. This is Jay got. But yeah, he got time out um, for saying something. I wasn't in the convo yeah, though. Yeah, Jay got got timed out. Mm -hmm. He must have got timed out by Mocha or something. Jay got gonna be bothering nobody. Come on now, <laughs> nigga, stay with a passenger, yes sir. Shout Jay got timed out. Never mind. Hey, so, hey, prepare for the bit. Prepare for the jiggy battle, nigga. What, yeah, keep that, that. Keep that in the thought. I'm talking. Talking. I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, shout out to everybody in the Discord. If you're not part of Discord, you need to figure out a way to join in. All right, uh, hit that like button to support, and uh, let's do these intros. Start out with Tony. You've been missing for a while. People yes, been wondering sir. where you've been. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's hard head. Hi, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was you, bro. Go ahead, Tony. Hey, man. Yokio, we back. We back. You know, here to talk about this Marvel Sons greatness, hotness. That's it, man. Yes, sir. We back. All right. Uh, Jack. Greetings, everyone. I hope you're having a better day than me. There you go. Okay. Uh, Alex, who likes to uh, involve themselves in marital affairs. Oh my god! Come on, dog. All right, if if the weapon on Discord don't like Photoshop jokes, I'll keep it at home base. God damn. Nah, see, you see uh, how the white man try to twist it like, I oh, keep, now we I don't like Photoshop. No, nigga, we base, just said leave bro. that man, leave niggas base. wives alone. Had, That's all we said. I done had crazy Photoshops of me. I'm not. It was his YouTube video screenshot. Like I didn't go search oh, for his wife, nigga. It was from his video. Um, 
yeah, shout out, shout out. I don't, I don't know what topics we're gonna talk about other than Callisto, but uh, shout out Misty Stone, um, and Trash. and Doctor Trey's new teeth don't fit in his mouth. But I am glad that Doctor Trey is back making videos. Please go watch his recent video. That nigga's standing in the hallway staring at the camera for forty seconds. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, hot for Lexi. Oh my hot god, do I sound better now? Yeah, you're good. Yes. Yeah, I think I broke my uh, USB cord to my mic by accident switching it between the PS5. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, h- how you feeling today, Jack? I could be better. Uh, no, Eagles got whooped that ass today. Mm. Yes. Yeah, well. Um, speak of the Discord, yeah, the d- Discord is going well, but too too many Chiefs in the Discord. We we need to uh, consolidate mods because no, no, yes, no. yes, Cause, no, because this is the, all you saying right now is that you mad that I have I have Nigga, the same I power didn't say you. That. You, you, that's, you, that's all you say because nobody else will be doing nothing. Bro. You see this BG? I can't even get nobody a else will be doing nothing. And it's only me. He's already crying. It's only me. That's because you're not saying what you're trying to say. Bond gonna call you a woman in a second. I ain't like a woman. <laughs> Say what you're trying to say, Bob. You're not saying what you're trying to say. You're speaking subliminal. He said there's too many say chiefs, not enough said. Indians. Uh, maybe I don't, like, I don't know. <laughs> Korea. Right. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, you know, speaking <laughs> of Korea, did you just see Elon say, I mean, Kanye said Elon might be a Chinese uh, clone? He said a that. A Chinese and oh, South right. African clone? He just said that. Nigga crazy. Uh, did I miss anybody's intro? Everybody did theirs? Everybody, okay. Everyone cool. relevant. <laughs> You miss hardhead though. Oh, my bad, hardhead. <laughs> I bigged no, you up I so much. I bigged you up so much. I didn't realize you didn't do your intro. It's it's all good. I'm. I didn't expect to be here for the whole podcast. I was gonna show from need for speed, but uh. Yeah, yeah. Jay got uh, already saying I'm right. Yeah, time to work, nigga. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying before I was so rudely freaking interrupted. Nah, nah, hold up, hold up, Bon. I'm gonna let you Nick. speak. Let me do my intro. Though. <laughs> okay. What's going on, y'all? It's hard here. It's seven WD. Uh, yeah, that's it. Fire. All right, back to what I was saying. Too many chiefs. <laughs> A lot of people have power, but none of them use it. I didn't even know I had power. I don't even know if I'm a mod in here, nigga. I don't know what I can do with some in here. I know I got a piece of bread next to my name. Banger. Mm. Okay. Y'all ready to talk about games? No. No? no. Okay. Well, too damn bad. That's too huh? damn bad. <sighs> well, we going to start smooth, out with... Smooth, smooth out sick, by the way, y'all. Oh, yeah. <gasps> smooth, yeah, Smooth said he got leprosy, so he, he's going to be out. Oh, oh, right. What? Is that why I'm falling apart? That's crazy. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no. Maybe. <laughs> you just wish leprosy on this nigga and you <laughs> mad at me for photoshopping? <laughs> hey, bro, what's going on right now, nigga? Nigga, nigga, nobody gets leprosy in 2022. <laughs> what do you mean? They said it's like my polio, BG. Hey man, they said about the black plague too. Niggas started yeah. catching that again. Hey man, if so smooth... this, is, this isn't my cave. This is the mic. They said Ebola as well. Mm. If smooth man, can somehow figure out a way to get leprosy, it... listen. If smooth could fi- somehow figure out a way to get leprosy, he might deserve it. I'm be real. With you, I, I hope you start. I hope you start randomly itching tonight just because you said that about him. All right, man. Uh, where are we gonna start tonight? Uh, let's see. Uh, y'all want to start with Need for Speed under? Uh, I said about to say underground. Need for Speed oh. Unbound. Yeah, let's get um, takeoff in here. So, game came out. What is it on Metacritic? Somewhere in the eighties? Uh, I think it was like an eighty-four. Wow, no, it was lower than that. I think it was lower than that. It didn't have a lot of reviews. If I remember it's got an eighty. Uh, the well, no, this is ten reviews. This is what what platform? This is PS Five. Why does it not have? I thought it would have more. Someone say it don't have a lot of reviews for some reason. That's weird. Um, Series X only has four reviews, and PC only has. PC only has two reviews. What the hell? Okay, it's weird. If you check Open Critic, it's an eighty-two. Okay, but from what I've seen, most people like it. They're happy. They're happy with it. Um, I thought I was gonna buy this game, but I, you know, I was trying to convince myself because you know I, I, I be trying to force myself to get back in. Well, I can't say back because I was never into into them, but Ever. to get into the racing that you know, especially the arcade, right? So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy this. But then I thought about it. I was like, do you really just want to hold R two? And and turn the, the you know the thumbstick for hours. That's not fun to me. So oh I was like, God. I was like, I'm not doing that, right, man. Uh, so I, I was like, I, I canceled uh, the, the pre order I had. And then I heard, I heard that the story, um, which I, y'all y'all know how I feel about story and racing games and sports games. It has 
It's it's this game is plot heavy and has a lot of dialogue. Once again, racing games do not need dialogue or okay, they can have dialogue, but you don't need a heavy plot, man. I'm like, I'm definitely not buying not, it now. It's not like intrusive the way that they do it. It's it's like I can understand your point if it's like in your face and interrupting your gameplay when you're just trying to enjoy your game or vibe out. But it's not like that with this. Nigga. BG, yeah, you got to have a little bit of dialogue, nigga. Otherwise, we're going to be playing Crazy Taxi. <laughs> okay. BG, don't you see, don't you see every out. Fast and Furious movie on, re- on release night, bro? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Put it but down, tell, BG. Continue. But, listen, but tell me what y'all think about the game. Shout out, Blaze. Um, who want to go oh. first? Hard day. You want to go? No, you you go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. Uh, I got a long list. I I'm gonna just name some stuff and I guess chip in because you'll probably uh have the same opinion on it. Um, what well, you hard day? You tell me. Are you a fan of the art style? Um, personally, I like it. I know. I know it's like it's the most polarizing aspect of the game. As far as it is very know. jarring. It's very reminiscent of the Dragon Ball Z games. Um, I'm gonna be honest. This shout out one time. This art style, I don't know if the people in the uh, watch and played this, but back in the day, there was a basketball game called Freestyle Street Basketball with cell shaded styling. This game, this this Need for Speed game is literally, damn, I feel like I'm playing Freestyle Street Basketball back in 2007. Like, that's literally the art style of these characters. Uh, Google that if y'all have never seen it. I don't know if I'm a fan of it just yet. Not as the character models. Um, I will say it, it's kind of like weird the approach they took. It's probably they, the, like, right. the most unique approach I would have thought of. Like you I'm not got, mad at it. Yeah, you got realistic graphics for the roads and the cars, but then when mm-hmm. it comes to the characters and all of the stuff that the cars do, it's like just random cartoony stuff going on. You know what, Hardhead? You know when you start the game and you're in the garage and that first cutscene where he's standing in front of that red car that's hoisted up. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you, when you just oh, look back okay. at it, I'm like, why is that okay. called back? No, exa- and that's the exact reason why I brought it up. That was the moment. It seems like once everyone gets to that cutscene, everyone goes like, ugh. <laughs> like, why does it look like that? So it, it really is jarring. I don't know if I'm a, I don't know if I'm a fan of the character models and shit. Um, do you want to say what's good about it first? Because I feel like my list is a bunch of gripes so that I wouldn't forget You them. can turn that off, by the way, right? Our, the art say, style. Say the no, no, they no, it's, capped about it. it. I thought they the, said you could turn it off. The best you can do is go to this. It's kind of like a default setting where it's like all the smoke and stuff is white. You don't get all the extra effects, but you get like the minimum the, amount the that they could possibly give you. Yeah. yeah, there's none of that. The only thing you see is smoke and some light trails every now and again. Now, that's, that's but it. what is good, you are able to customize those, like the tire smoke, um, the spoiler wind tails that come off of your car and the lights, the car sounds. That's that's par for the course for the Need for Speed game. The issue is that with these with this graffiti style, when you're driving, you can have something like a pizza or like a money sign or like whatever graphic pop above your car, right? Depending on your angle at which you're driving, you won't be able to see the traffic in front of you. There have been times where I'm driving and a pizza slice pop above my car. I didn't see the truck in front of me <laughs> or the dude driving in front of me. <clears throat> I don't see him stop, so now I'm smashing. Like, it, it, the functionality of it is kind of like it kind of gets in the way when you're trying to drive but, and do hairline turns and weave in between traffic. You'll literally have a graphic blocking the road. I can't even see what's in front of me for like two or three seconds. But I, other than I've that, had that happen before. Yeah, I, I, I can understand that. It's happened enough to where I've noticed it. Where I'm like, come on, bro. Like, if I could take that off, um, especially but, in those um, takedown events, because the takedown events is you just trying to chain together points. So every now and again, you you going off a jump and you can't see like the mm-hmm. obstacles in front of you. And in mm-hmm. the takedown events, they got certain obstacles you can hit that subtract your points. And mm-hmm. you end up hitting them and you didn't even realize you hit them. You're like, why did I just lose points? But now you, what I, it, it happened because you couldn't see in front of you. What I will say is when you if you're not familiar with the uh, Need for Speed games, Everything you do with your car is uh, expressed in, um, what's the word, graph, not graphics, but it's kind of like a doodle around your car. So like the tire smoke, if I'm driving and I burn out, I get circles uh, drawn around my wheels. If I hit something, my right wheel might turn red, but the doodles on my left are still yellow. Or um, when you turn or whatever, it'll be like, or if you jump, it'll have the words big air like on top of your car. So it it pays attention. It's almost like 2K or wrestling. Like if you do something, the game reacts. Oh, it jumped off the turnbuckle or something like that. So it's kind of cool because it feels like okay, it's paying attention to what I'm doing, which I which I like, which I like. 
But um, I was gonna get all your negative gripes out before. That's I yeah, and yes, yeah, so I'm trying to. My biggest gripe with this game, uh, are, is the car selection. This is probably the most disappointing car collection I've experienced in a Need for Speed game since probably Most Wanted. And that was more so because of the customization. Most Wanted, the most you could do in your car in Most Wanted was get the color change. <laughs> like, you really couldn't do nothing. But this game has 26 cars. I'm going to just list off three cars. And y'all tell me, you tell me if I tell you this car and the price if you want to list to it. A 2017 Mini Cooper with a back seat, uh, a, a, a bike rack on the top for $225,000. A 1987 Buick, $300,000. Uh, a Chevrolet Bel Air, 1955, $175,000. Is this in-game currency? This is in-game like currency. Real yeah, it's all, this it's all like earnable. Actual this dollar is amount. in-game currency, but you have a Ferrari priced less than a Chevrolet Bel Air. Not, uh, listen to what I'm saying. This is a Need for Speed game, and you got a Chevy Caprice. This is a Need for Speed game, but you have a Chevrolet Bel Air, a 2017 Mini Cooper. Why do we have a 2017 Mini Cooper in a 22, 2022 game? This when you play Need for when you play Need for Speed, yes, you have your classics. But when you play a racing game that's new, you're expecting, bro. Show me the concept cars. Show me the cars that just came out this year. You cannot have a Need for Speed game without a Camaro. You cannot have a Need for Speed game without a Mustang. These are cla- these are cars not only that are par for the course, but you expect to be able to customize these. These are very customizable tuner type cars, and the car selection they have in here. There is not one car when you when you play Need for Speed. I always go to the very end of the list. What's the most expensive car? What cars I got to look forward to? There is not one car on this list that I'm excited to unlock. Yeah, so that's usually you where me. you go to find. That's usually where you go to find the cars that that's like foreign to you. Like that's how people find that's out about I, cars right. like the Conus the, eggs and stuff the Pagani Zod and stuff like that. Bro, uh, so yeah, I understand that. I feel like the real problem with that because you 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 also brought up another point when you said that because I don't have too much of a problem with the cost selection other than the fact that there's so many goddamn duplicates. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Games do that. Blaze said there's 146 cars. Where did you see 146? You got You probably you probably was looking at the cost selection and you was looking at the custom cars. You had to hit the the R1 to see the, the stock version of all Oh, this oh. So it's, I, it's a lot of cars. Myself. Let me correct myself. Yeah. When On the story mode, I, uh, let me preface. The where I am in the story mode, I only have 26 cars to even look at, so. Okay, yeah, so you you probably. I, I need to boot that up. I need to boot that up. Yeah, you, you gotta is play it clearly. Is it ranked by the BAS class? Is that how you get to the yes. different cars? Oh. Well, no, 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 no. Not, not necessarily. It's like it's like certain cars you don't unlock until you do like these events with them. Like, uh, there's yeah. some cars you get for for helping out certain people in the city on a like crazy taxi type thing when you got mm-hmm. high heat cops on you. I've there's done certain those cars yeah. where you get like a you get to test drive the car and you do a time trial with the car and you have to make it to the garage in a certain amount of time. Yeah, I've done that. Man. That's yeah, when interesting. You, when you do all those events, that's how you unlock. That's how you unlock the custom cars and the stock version of those custom cars. I'm gonna have to go back and look because you know you play all the uh, Need for Speed. You kind of like me, you and Tick kind of play all of them. Uh, usually every Need for Speed, they have all the cars right there. You just literally start at one and scroll all the way to the right. So if I'm if I'm wrong on that, then I'll go look at it. But yeah, that's saw... that's that's a UI problem because the default oh. setting when you go to the to look at the cars, it's on the custom setting. Mm. And you have so to that's, you have so that's to switch saw, it to the stock version of the car. That's why I saw ASAP Rocky's car on there, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. See, that makes sense. Okay, I might have to walk that back then. But yeah, once you do, you're gonna see the thing that I did. I had a problem with cost selection wise, which is the fact that they had <laughs> so many goddamn duplicates. Mm. Man, and yeah, that, 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 that was my me. that was my biggest complaint. I was like, yeah. these cars are trash. You're not looking like yeah, the car guy, with... Alex. Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> when racing games, PG, aren't, you, up, PG, aren't, you, aren't you aren't you still going around the world with a permit, nigga? Do you have a license yet? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. I've had a license since I was uh, about twenty. Post sir. that. Post that for me real quick. Oh yeah, I'll show you my address <laughs> and my social security too while I'm at it. Okay, nigga, are you flirting with me? Oh, hardhead, you playing on PC, yes, right? Yes, sir, I am playing have, on PC. I'm not gonna bring up what we talked about in Discord that one night, but no, nah, I, I, re- I reset my money though. Okay. I was just okay. doing that to show that it was possible for. Real. I had I had a question for you. Have you played online yet? 
Yes, it is when, a great experience. I'm, I'm going to be honest. This is the first Need for Speed I've played in years where a nigga wasn't flying by 200 miles per hour riding the rim of a freeway, and I just couldn't, like, it was just glitched. and Not glitched, but he was like, connection was so bad, I couldn't do anything online. And uh, that's that's what uh, that's what one of the best things about this game comes in is the class system. Like everybody mm-hmm. in the game is restricted to the class system of that specific race, and mm-hmm. it feels like there's actual balance in each class compared to previous, like at least Need for Speed Heat. Like mm-hmm. Need for Speed Heat, anybody who played Need for Speed Heat for a prolonged amount of time knows that there's one car that just dominated the whole game, and you can which, use it. In which one are you talking about? The Porsche. Oh yeah, that's my favorite car of all time. <laughs> I get that yeah, in every racing game. I it was my a question. Porsche. You could engine swap it, and it could. It was unbeatable, like literally. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they had that as the the. Uh, they had that. What was that one car that they had a custom yellow body? You know the one to the one on the cover where they give it to you in the oh, story. Oh, the Pole Star. That's a Volvo. Yeah, yeah. My question was though, when you started online through PC, did you get one hundred and fifty thousand dollars off rip? I did. I heard a lot of people have been having issues right, with their pre-order right. stuff. So me, Blaze, Takeoff, and E-Rock were playing a few races last night online. Our guys on PC, they didn't get the $150,000 off right. Me and uh, Takeoff and I, we started with 150000 So we was able to not only buy a car, but customize it, do the performance. And every race, unless me or Takeoff messed up, like hit a corner too hard or hit a car, we literally were... Uh, it was basically a 2v2 race. <laughs> like, they was battling for last place because their cars, they literally had, they didn't have the money to upgrade it. So, I was wondering if that was a PC thing. Like, if they just didn't give they me all the money. Or... How's, the, how's the music in the game? I played on oh, it. Soundtrack's pretty damn good. ASAP Rocky did a good job. It's, <laughs> it's funny you bring up the soundtrack because uh, that's that's one of the, the arguments that got started in the Discord earlier because apparently Digital Foundry and they tech review of the game started talking about how they didn't like how much rap music was in the game. And it's not even a lot of rap music. What does it have to do with the, what does it have to do with the tech of the game though? You know why. Canadian Canadians were talking about the music too, Jack. He also uh God. posted his top songs from uh from um Spotify. I just went to his pay his Twitter page. No rap music in there, so no coincidence <laughs> that he's upset about it. You, you know, Hardhead, did you did you make so, your horn uh, ASAP Rocky? Oh God. Oh no, nah, I didn't. I don't. I, don't, I didn't even check to see if I unlocked it. I thought it was funny that it was in the game. So BG, I brought up this point in the Discord that when we're talking predominantly about street racing, it's not something that black people are the primary demographic for. That no, that is not what you said, God, Bob. Damn, can I finish this point without this dude interrupting? Oh, shut the fuck up, hardhead, for real. Oh my God. God go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, don't ever know when to shut oh, up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anyway, back to what I was down. saying. They're crying and complaining. I literally posted the demographics that only 15% of street racing, whatever, is black people. So it stands to me that the people that street race are mostly into street racing don't listen to rap. And now we got a problem. Uh, okay, so play, they got play can, I, can I talk now, Bon? Can Go I ahead. talk? Okay, so two things wrong with what you just said. First of all, that is not what you said. When you first spoke, you you made a, a alter, ultimative type statement as if no black people participate in street racing. When that is it's far obviously from true. not zero. If I say no black people play hockey, it doesn't mean zero. But the, that fifteen percent, but even your statistical number is higher than saying something that that nobody is doing. Nigga, like we're not even we're twelve percent of the country. Fifteen percent is not a lot. That's, that's still a lot of black people. If you Nigga, if you talking about how many black people are in the country, period. Seventy three percent of us play basketball. The NFL is seventy percent black. Fifteen percent in an activity is not a lot. Okay, but look, on even on top of that, if, if you've been to a, a meet, you've heard the kind of music that <laughs> these people play from their cars at meet. <laughs> These people are listening to rap music. I th- b- uh, by the way, I, I think uh, I think Need for Need for Speed should be put in the ca- in the uh, Caucasian casual collection. 
I think, thank uh, you. I think thank like you. Because I do that's feel that's like you know oh racing games in general. I, I'm just I'm just speaking as, you know aside Maybe from what y'all what you're arguing. People. I think Caucasians do have a proclivity uh, for the for the racing games. They seem oh to be. Oh my god, me and hey, uh, no, I, I can see that. I, I can see that at least. Hardhead. What now, you hold on, hold on. Now, Daddy BG says what I said. And you no, oh, because man. he's not saying oh, what you not, said. Oh, oh, you crazy. you said. <laughs> This is not. Oh, oh my! Oh, I, I you agree. I you agree. said a whole different statement than what BG just said. Nigga, BG I made sure you. he tipped around his statement just now because he 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 had to he had to make sure he knew what he was saying. Had I posted you stats and you said who cares about stats? That's why I said fifteen percent. You said fifteen percent of, of black people you know are what? the ones that, that participate in the street. For now on, and how, many, how many black people? What, what's our percentage in, in America? For, for, like black for now on, I'm just going to present my information <laughs> to Daddy BG. Daddy oh, BG will contact oh, you oh, and oh. say this is the information you need to accept it. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hardhead. I had a question. Let's wrap up this. Uh, ahead, need for yeah, speed. For sure. Go ahead. We, we, I want to get takeoff here because he already got 20 hours in the game. What's your opinion on uh, the map? I feel like it's very reminiscent of Need for Speed Heat. Um, yeah, Chicago, it does right? just kind of feel like another Need for Speed Heat map. I'll say that. There was at some parts of the map I legit was like, nigga, is this the same map from Heat? Like, that Hilly section? I'm like, bro, this look co copy-pasted, but... Oh, one new thing. I don't know if this is... I've never seen this in another Need for Speed game. They have every state's license plate. Did you notice oh, that? Oh, yeah. I, 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 I use three different license plates on my cars. I use Texas, Maryland, and Louisiana. It's, it's, it's pretty yeah, nice um, that they did that. I haven't seen that in a racing game since, like, Midnight Club, and it's, it's kind of crazy yeah. when you think about it. All in all, bro, this Need for Speed game is par for the course. It what you what you expect from Need for Speed, Need for Speed game, you get it. The difference is the delivery, the racing. To me, from what I've played, a hard that you might differ. It don't feel too crazy as far as the functionality of it with the grip slash the drift. Feels like feels like the typical modern Need for Speed game, bro. It the way it plays, it don't feel that different to me. It <laughs> really seems like it's just presentation that's go around. Uh, before we, <laughs> yeah, we leave okay, off okay. the topic, go ahead. Now go ahead. Go ahead. I was about to say, I just want to say a couple of things that might sell some people on the game. Like, first of all, the, the they, they took a different approach to progression for this game. It's like, uh, it's, it's like the heat system, but, uh, it's a little more difficult. You got four weeks to compete and you got to do the day night cycles. So you go mm -hmm. out in the daytime, you, you bank your money and you go back out in the night and whatever you did in the day, it carries on into the nighttime. And, um, it, it makes it, it makes all the the races you do feel more weighty, like like everything matters a little bit more. And got, then they got the time. Yeah. Like if you actually wanted to farm, it's only so much farming you can do in a in a in a given day type shit. You gotta make everything count. Uh then they got the rival system. They actually make some of the races you going up against feel like actual AI. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of rubber banding and shit going on. How do you feel about the cops in this game? They they not as hard as I wanted them to be. Yeah, I heard I'm somebody evading, say I'm, I'm evading cops in like thirty seconds. I heard somebody say yeah. they they are like bitches in this game compared to whatever other game that was. Yeah, Need right. for Speed Heat, them niggas was on your ass, and then now, they had the it was it was bad. On now what heat level are you on? Because I just got to the Corvette. I think I'm on heat level three or four. Where they now the Corvettes not, are chasing me. Every every night you can get back up to Heat Five. So oh, okay. I, so it don't, it don't I carry over. In my nights on Heat Five, by the time I'm done for, it don't carry over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, what you was gonna say, Tony? I was just gonna say, <laughs> y'all really let Alex sit up here for half an hour talking about Need for Speed, thinking there was only twenty cars in the game. Hold it down, Alex. Hold it down. Continue. The game, the game continue, came continue, out continue. Friday, nigga. Like, what are you talking about? I'm playing the story, and we played online. Continue. Yeah, you you might have to. Hey, hold Tony, it down, what man. games have you played lately? Let's talk about it. What games have you played lately? We gonna get to that in the next yeah, topic. We, bro. Yeah, we Whatever. gonna get to that. Okay, wait, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. All right, <laughs> you, you jumping off the porch? I know about my game. <laughs> <laughs> I know about my game. <laughs> you know how you know how many characters in your game, right? This boy Alex, crazy. Anyway, uh, let me uh, let's get something else real in real quick. Oh, the Halo Infinite multiplayer um, creative director has left three four three. Tom French. That was his name. He's been uh, working on Halo for uh, 11 and a half years. And he decided that he's he's done now and he's moving on. 
Yay. Good for him. All right. Um, Is this why Smooth took a day off? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but um, yeah. Hey, Amen. Uh, wish the best to 3 for 3. Wish the best to Halo. Shout out to them. Okay. Uh, what else was there? Oh, there's a, apparently a Sifu movie in development. Um, Sifu was oh, being adapted into a live action film by the John Wick creator, Derek Colstead. That's pretty freaking fast for a, a game that just came out this this year. Yeah, this year. Was it this year that game came out? Top of the year? And already being like developed into like a live, trying to be developed into a live action movie. That's that's pretty cool. I think the story of Sifu was pretty good. So I'm actually into that. Sounds pretty cool. Um, Jack, when you go, when you go double back and play that? Bro, your Discord is fucking no, no, idiotic, no, BG. Oh, brother. <laughs> Like you, you can post factual statistics and data, and they're like, "Well, you said no, uh, nobody was no black people street race." And I also say Xbox has no games. Does that actually mean literally zero. But, but you, you have to stand on what you said, yeah, bud. That's I all they saying. I posted you a fucking <laughs> chart of literal <laughs> statistics, bugging, and you're man. worked up over fucking words. <laughs> Bye, just stand on what you not. said. That's all. Oh. No, no, you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I that. You are the biggest ignoramus in the fucking Discord. Every time I've ever said Xbox has no games, y'all, y'all literally gonna tell me you sit up here and think no games come out to Xbox. That's what I'm saying. Yes or no? I, I do see. I do see Bond's yeah, point. Stay, I, I, I do. The shit you say. Just stay when on I the say, shit when I say Xbox has no saying, games, bro. do y'all literally perceive that as Xbox has zero games? Yes, we all no? we all say that. Not everybody speaks in ultimatums I, like you do. Most of the shit you I say, you speak in. You mean absolutes? Yeah. Absolutes. I'm when sorry. I say Thank you for the says No games. <laughs> Hold it down. Hold it. <laughs> as having no games. Yes hey, yo, this or nigga no? really cranking Blaze. Hey, credit Blaze, nigga. You sitting there cranking her today. Who's hey, yo, my man Ramos, no, no. Blaze really a trendsetter with that holding down shit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> Well, it's a, it's a rumor going around that E-Rock started it. Fucking oh, did he? Ooh. Yeah, uh, E-Rock actually started that. <laughs> uh, and the somebody, and somebody, one, one, nice. of your, one of your people <laughs> in the Discord even told you just oh, be careful the way you talk. That's the your people. Even they looking, telling you you're wrong. You're looking at statistical data. Fine. The whole Discord. Which in my claim. The and whole is Discord is telling and, you wrong. Even the people who agree with you telling you you're wrong. Here's the funny thing. How can the only person that posted statistical data to prove a point be oh wrong? Ooh, but this is not about that. Retarded. This is yes, not about is. that. This is any about the, your original no, statement. You're not standing. Any discussion is about not what you say. It's you're not, not standing you on your original hey, statement. Right That's now. all this is about. Say, Everything is about what you can little. prove, not what you say. The yeah. data I posted, y'all said, I don't know, plenty of black people race. The data states otherwise. <laughs> so when people, when people say, oh, black people don't race, okay, there's Bubba Wallace. So just because somebody says, oh, there's nobody races, there's obviously one. Like, then don't speak in absolutes. Up. That's all you got to do. Nigga, posted information <laughs> with my cop. Like, this is nuts. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like Jack. When we literally say Lamar Jackson can't throw, do we literally oh mean that God. that nigga can't throw for one yard? Yeah, of course not. Like, uh, like y'all uh, are um, fucking wanton. Dumb. Wanton. Uh, now wanton is saying him and E Rock created hold it down niggas are claiming i feel, I feel like down. i feel like i was i feel like i was the first oh person. man everybody want to claim actually, hold it down. i think about it jack i think i said it back in 98 I oh think shut, I up, what shut up and anyway I, said it. I will hey oh hard head i booted up need for speed I, I see what you're talking about with the stock and custom but i do see what you mean about the duplicates i see what you're talking about yeah there's a lot of duplicates it is yeah, like, i hate when games race waste slots on this shit. yeah tough i see what, tony, oh but yeah they, they do got some heat in here though they do got some heat tony would you like to let's transition to midnight marvel's midnight suns i'm gonna let tony take over Ain't um, getting my apology for us about midnight sun bg nigga i'll slap you with my dick before i'd apologize to you oh um, what, what? Well, you, can, you can still say sorry hey y'all hear bong get turned <laughs> on in the background <laughs> i am not apologizing 
Because I have nothing to apologize to. DG, me, me, Blandrew, and I think even Tony said the game could possibly yes, be good. Give it a shot. And you said, no, it's going to suck. No, it's going to suck. And the whole conversation was shitting on me, Blandrew, and Tony. And then the game came out yep. to raving reviews, BG. Because you know, it seemed yep. like you were wrong, brother. So, okay, what I said was, I just don't believe that a, that card combat can be good. That's some shit that should be relegated to mobile, some mobile game shit. Right, no, and and, you were, that, you were wrong. and I still I still stand on that. Now I, maybe I think some of these reviewers could be maybe reviewing this game, like okay, if they review it based on oh, the the based on the metric of how good a an actual Not card cool. based combat system is, if you believe card based combat can be good, that's different. But I just don't believe this, it can be good. But that's my opinion. Saying. This is all I'm going to say, right? I respect you standing on what you said, but you also got to respect that you're wrong, right? So just stand mm -hmm. on being wrong, and we can move on, brother. Tony, wrong, okay? I That's want you to try to tell Bond. Oh, you're my wrong. God. Shut you're up. Wrong. You're, <laughs> wrong. you're wrong. You're wrong. Okay, go ahead, Tony. Tony, I want you... Okay, I, I really would like I'm you to convince me how the card combat could be enjoyable. Because maybe... Okay, okay. Maybe. I'm going to get into oh, it. I'm going to get into it. You like it. Mario Kart, right? Mario Kart? Yeah. It's got card combat. Card. Hold it down, bud. Oh, Hold it down. My apologies. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let me let me break the game down, right? So I'd say about two hours in, yo, I started skipping the cutscenes, the dialogue, all that. Hey, it ain't that, bro. The the animations, the for the voice, the lip syncing, it doesn't sync up. It's the way they deliver lines is super flat. Like it's it's not it, man. It, the way they tell the story, the jokes, the humor, straight buns. But that combat, woo! That joint, that joint, that hotness. I'm trying to, I was trying to tell you, you know, me and Jack Blandrew at the time were trying to tell BG about Steam World Quest and everything, how that was a good game. But this game here it takes it like all the way to the next level. Um, you was asking like, how is it, you know, how is it good and how is it not just good for a card game? But I, this is something that caught me off guard, but for a card game, the it feels it feels impactful. Like you might, you know, you draw a card, you put the card down, and then all the heroes feel like powerful. They you know, they ain't feel soft, you know, it ain't it doesn't feel like a card game when you play in it. Uh the animations are a top tier when it comes to the combat. Uh they play some, you know, little dope, little cool animation for for each attack, uh, there's plenty like environmental takedowns too. So you combine your your moves. So maybe you knock this guy over here, and if you like throw a dumpster at someone, it will leave like skid marks, like Alex draws, like in the <laughs> ground, and like the whole shit just go like everything you do. Like the combat feels weighty for a car game. It shit just you know. So it's, let me ask you. Tier, so man. let me ask you. It is the cards you get. For because you, I assume you get cards. You have your your Marvel superheroes, and you get so you cards. Build, you build your deck out. You build your deck out. Okay, you each, you choose your character. like Yu Gi Oh. Like you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and it's yep, and it's yep, random. Yep. Not it's randomized. What cards you get? To a degree, you can you know like a card game. You can load a certain right. amount. You know, you might put two or three or one type of card in. So yeah, to increase your chances. Increase your chances. Type type of situation, but it'll be <sighs> randomized. You play with three characters at a time. So you might you get you might want to go in with sometimes there might be a character that is needed for the mission like you might have to play as Iron Man, Spider Man, or whatever. Uh, but it's always sometimes you can do side missions. You can choose your whole loadout uh, completely. Um, so it's three heroes. There's a uh, cards that you know combine with each. You know you might have a Spider Man, Iron Man card or whatever like that. And uh, you know you got some cards where it might be you get a shield or you heal this guy so you know you want to it's like a rpg kind of situation where you know you don't want to go in without someone that can't heal or you want someone that can attack multiple enemies at the same time so you can try clear it up as fast as possible because the faster you clear it like eventually reinforcements will stop mm. but if you take too long like you might have to destroy this destroy this uh there's there's decent amount of like uh variation in the the type of missions <laughs> okay. but so it might be like destroy this or 
uh, get this off the truck before it leaves or destroy the helicopter or take out this specific enemy or and each time like two guys will come in three guys will come in one guy will come in but if you can do the objective the reinforcement stop so you want to get you want to get that shit done out the way because otherwise you're just gonna be you gonna get you can get swarmed pretty easily in this game you have like 12 enemies on the screen mm. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna so, be spooky for you so you you still like picking like the the you're still controlling the movement of where your uh where your characters go, but the the what abilities no. and moves they do. No 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 no. You ain't you ain't doing that. You ain't doing that either. Uh they got rid of like a cover system and everything. Like you just Oh, there's no cover there system. There is movement. There's no no cover system. You just gotta there's movement, you get one move per turn. So you can attack whoever you want. So if someone's across the map, you can still go and attack them but you have one move so you might want to position yourself you might have an attack where you do a you shoot a straight line a sh like a beam and you might want to position yourself to hit three guys or whatever uh and so you get one move a time unless you got a card that gives you another move or something like that so yeah you there's no like cover system or anything like that in this game. my okay. issue with card games is i just don't like I think you would fuck with it. I think if you played it, you would actually fuck with it, though. My my issue is just I just don't like what what I choose to be based on what card I draw. You know, that random element. But the oh, thing you is, though, because you're picking the deck, you always going to have something you fuck with, though. Exactly. Um, hey, Tony, is is the card you choose in any way affected by cards on, like, the enemy side or anything like that? Uh, nah. Okay, because uh, after that one Kingdom Hearts game, I I pretty much just sworn off card games personally. Just this is the problem that. with this situation. This game, everything BG felt about this game going in, all his preconceived notions, they're being debunked live on air right Cat. now. And he <laughs> not only did this man get sent a free copy of this game, I gave it away he, by the way. See exactly, he he's so he's. He's so dead set on him not looking crazy, he refused to play the game. Now, I guarantee if you played this game and you fuck with it, you will be hesitant to tell everybody that. Am I right or wrong? No, I'm not. I'm just, I just know, I just know what I know, and I know it. Bro, you got to set this game <laughs> BG would like, bro, B, BG, you like, player, BG, bro. you like, you like, you uh, like, time based RPGs? I do. Come on, bro. You, <laughs> all right, bro. You got I to just, you I just don't. Heavy. I, I just one thing I don't like. There's a uh, there's the the customization and like the best skins are behind a paywall. You hate to see it, bro. You gotta so pay. Is there any activities? Tip, but, then, but then I realized I was insane for for buying uh skins in a single player game, so I fell back. It, is is there any activities outside of the battles? Because a lot of uh, you know for access they be doing a lot of that. Is there any management you gotta do out in you know, mini there games? It's, it's all buns. It's all buns. Uh. When it comes to the characters, it's buns, but there's like, you go on quests and you get certain materials, so you get you can craft new cards. Uh, there's a training room where you can build up your friendship and get a couple perks. Uh, going into the next next uh, mission or get some XP and things like that. That that like management aspect is pretty good, but like anytime you have to actually talk to anyone, that shit. That ain't it. That ain't it. So listen, but there's there's plenty of things to do outside. Like you can customize your room, uh, but you can get you can get pretty done with that pretty quick. That doesn't take too long. You I'd playing probably... it on PS Five? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How does it look? Because in the videos, it looks kind of ass. It looks like a mobile game in the videos in the trailers. So when it comes to the graphics, sometimes it looks good, ish, and then it looks like ten out of ten. But sometimes you'd be like, ah, it looks, you you can be kind of impressed. Animations are impressive. But sometimes you'll do a close-up in a cutscene and it'll, it'll look like PS3 type type of situation. And just, it's not it's not consistent at all. So but I, I, the animations, some cutscenes are good, but some are, some are spooky. They're real time, so like everyone's outfit will be, uh, you know, displayed. Uh, it's not pre-rendered or anything. So I still stand by. I think this would be better as a classic XCOM style game, right? And how do you I know? And, no sir, no sir. How, and, how do you how do you, no how do you know? B b because I know, I know. I just believe that. Do, do, do you do you hear how stupid you sound? Right I I I stand by it. Okay, I just believe that because there's a level of, level of complexity 
that just and I like that play style. I like that strategic play style with with it's you know strategic, but come on, bro. with um with cover yeah. and and movement and all I'm of that. I like that. I like this. that stuff. You let the word card destroy how you feel about this game. Right? Absolutely, Jack is a hundred percent right. And yes, my question is this: I thought niggas liked playing cards. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I thought too. I thought I thought y'all liked playing spades and Yu Gi Oh and shit. Damn, that sounded racist as hell. Hey, BG, you, that's funny. Huh? BG, you should definitely just, get this I'm game. Just, I just learned how to play spades the other day, low key. <laughs> I'm just saying, for the longest time, I thought we liked playing cards. Now we don't. Let me let me tell you this, Jack. I let me tell you about the strategy in the game. Though. Let me tell you about the strategy. So you go into a mission and you'll realize, you know, who you need to take out first. You know, you you know assess your hand and realize how can I take out as many enemies as possible. Like. So you have, you get three, um, three car plays per turn, and then you have a meter that is like a hero meter. So some attacks give you plus one or plus two to your meter, and then some cards require like two or three in the meter to use. So you're trying to balance that out. You're like, let me use this, let me use this to get some of this meter. But then there's environmental attacks that don't take up your car plays, but they take up your hero meter. So you're just balancing everything out, trying to figure out how can I take as many people out as possible? How can I go into the next time with some some hero uh, points left over? It's There's plenty, like, you ain't just going to be pressing cars and shit. Like, it's, there's, there's plenty of strategy here. Tony, you make it BG sound tri- good, and, I, and I appreciate it, right? But let me say this. Because <laughs> the game is good. Right? <laughs> in, 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 in the very small chance that I actually do... Give this game a chance. It's very there's a very low chance I do that. And it's a even lower chance that I like it. But in the chance that that, that does happen, let's be clear. I will never tell Jack's fat ass. You will never know, nigga. Whoa, 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 whoa. You will hey. never know. You Mocha I will never body shaming. I will never give you that satisfaction. <laughs> I want you to know that. See, you, this is the difference between me and BG, right? I might not like a game. I might even God. say, you know, I, I go on a little campaign. This game finna be, you know. And then if I play the game and actually like it, I come back and say, hey, I was wrong. The game is pretty cool. I like it. I BG do that too, except so with fucking, card games. You're so fucking stubborn and bullheaded. You refuse. You're you're shaming yourself. You're 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 uh depriving yourself of a great gameplay situation. Because you don't want to look wrong. That's you, crazy, BG. You will. You too old for that. You too old for listen, that. Listen, Jack. I, I hope you live a very long life. But when you do leave Thank this you. earth, you will still never know. If I do, you'll still never know that I played Marble Midnight Suns. I assure you of that. And I but, can tell but you I hope you live a long life. You are a petty bitch, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I just gonna I'm find a way to find out, BG. We gonna find out, motherfucker. We gonna yeah, okay. find out. <laughs> We gonna, yeah, okay. we gonna figure it out, motherfucker. Just know that. <clears throat> well, I, I appreciate the that uh that that synopsis, that breakdown, that analysis, Tony. Um, you know, because you know Jack is all talk. He hyping up the game, but he ain't gonna play. It. He ain't gonna buy it. Never, you know. Want to say I never hyped up the game. The only thing I said was I feel like you're being too judgmental about the game. I said if you, because I know you like Marvel. I know you like strategy games. This is like a match made in heaven for you. I thought somebody like you would be all over this. You heard See, the word disingenuous, Jack. Yeah, he, he he heard the word card and blew a fucking gasket. I'm not playing that trash right? card, c- card. I'm like BG, give it a shot, brother. You might fuck with it. Who knows? Yeah, but hey, listen. I wouldn't like this game as much if it wasn't a card game. Oh, BG. look at that! Look at that! Mm. Okay. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate I appreciate your your review, brother. Serious, sir. Gracias, sir. Um, all right. Uh, I want to revisit Pokemon. Right, real quick. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Do we have to? Man, so I bu- I had bought Pokemon Violet, and you know, because I was very um, excited for this, um, even with the performance issues. I know about the performance issues, but I was like, if this is classic Pokemon for the most part, I'm like, I'm I'm gonna enjoy it because I like the Pokemon formula. You know, last year's Pokemon loved it, hundred hours plus in it, fantastic, no complaints. This Pokemon is garbage. This what? one is garbage. Okay. You think it's trash? I think it's absolute trash. This is this is Pokemon if Ubisoft made it. This oh, is a God. Ubisoft Pokemon game. What okay. You know what's crazy? I never thought about it like that. You might be right with the way they try to throw you all over the map to do random shit. You you might you might be on to something. 
Because here's here's what I hate about this hate about this game, right? They try to, they, you know, you got your main things that you try to do in the game, right? You got you can go you can go your gym path and beat all the gym leaders. You could try to take on uh, what is it, Team Stars? You could you know the Team Stars base because you know they change whatever the team name is in each game. That's your, that's that's the ops, right? So you could take on their bases, um, and and you know and, and shut their bases down. You can go after the the, the badges. Or you can go after the Titans, right? Those are the three main objectives in the game. But mm -hmm. in 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 between all of these objectives, they make you do stupid things. Like it's like these little mini games and little activities that are annoying as hell. For example, right? I went to the first gym leader. Right? I'm gonna mop this gym leader up real quick. I go to the first gym leader, and I, you know, I expect to go into the gym, and usually the gym leader got his little flunkies in there. You know, little niggas that you mop up. They be talking trash, niggas you trash. You know, you got to beat up like a few of them before you actually get to the gym leader. Instead of that, these niggas, th these niggas think I'm some type of country bumpkin and they put me in a field and they got me rolling around. What was the shit they had you rolling around? It, like, a, it was like a watermelon or something. Yeah, they that had you like rolling a around a, a, a watermelon or a big ass <laughs> potato. And they're like, yeah, roll this big ass <laughs> potato into this net. I'm like, huh? What? Um, Why? I mean, they've kind of done stuff like that with like e ever since like Sun and Moon, where they have like mini challenges to kind of like spice things up a bit, but sometimes it doesn't work out. And sometimes you have to fight uh, some of the gym leaders to like advance to whatever type of gym you're doing. So you, so you got these little mini activities. You know that are that are not fun. That don't contribute anything to the game. That's why I said, you know how Ubisoft like to spread random activities around the game that are not, not good in any way. So you got to do that. Okay, I'm like, okay, I I, I move the potato or the big ass watermelon in, into the net to fight the gym leader for whatever reason, right? And then okay, I go do a, I go do a to a team star base, right? The team star base. They have the in in, po in po this Pokemon. They have a feature where you could just throw your your Pokemon out and it, and it walks around. Let's go feature. Yeah, let's yeah, go. It, auto it, battle. Yeah, you, auto battle. Right, you throw your Pokemon out. It battles on its own. Right, it could still you know get beaten and shit like that. But pretty much, it's battling on its own. If it you know it, it would just work out the way it did if you were on automatic and on autopilot and your Pokemon was battling on its own. Right. So I expect to go to this team base and I'm like you know. Like how how it is. I'm just gonna battle people until I get to the last leader in the base, and you know it's just gonna be Pokemon battles. No, you have to. You they force you to use this let's go feature, and it's a it's like a time trial, and all you have to do is throw your Pokemon out. They let you throw multi multiple Pokemon out, and you're just and your Pokemon are just wa uh, walking around battling on their own. You're not doing anything. You're not doing yeah, anything. You're just watching them. The yeah. team star basis is probably the weakest point in the entire game. Yeah. Like, and, uh, and plus, you, uh, you know, auto battling, you can get like quick experience off that. In the team star raids, you don't get experience for none of that shit. Even for the final boss, you don't get experience points for that either. Yeah, it's and it gives you ten minutes to destroy thirty Pokemon. Like I don't know why they think that's gonna yeah, take ten why? minutes. Because you can, because you can beat them in like two, three minutes flat tops. You yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, so oh, it, so for for your for those who don't understand what BG trying to say is is like it's a really fast way of beating multiple Pokemon. Yeah. So you just you just got three Pokemon in your party when you walk into the base and you got to beat thirty of the Pokemon that the the people defending the base throw out. So you just you just walking around. You see a group of three Pokemon. You throw your Pokemon at it and you keep walking. Yeah, you, you're not you're not actually doing, you know, like the a actual Pokemon battle where you're saying, oh, use this move, use this move. It's it's not that your Pokemon just literally walks up to another Pokemon and 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 they fight. It lasts like maybe what, two, three seconds. You're not actually making any decisions. You're not doing anything. It's very uninvolved. And that's the task you have to do. And then you have to like beat 30 of them. Um, and then they bring you to the 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 actual uh, leader of the base, and then you have a, a, a actual um, conventional Pokemon battle with them. And I'm like, but but why? Like, what was the point? Like, it's it's so boring and uninvolved that the fact that like all I had to do to get up to you was to was to literally hit one button, the Let's Go button, and my Pokemon did it for me. I'm like, that's trash. It's garbage. 
tedious. The crazy thing is, all these complaints BG has, he hasn't even talked about it running and looking like a fucking mobile game. Yeah, like, there's, <laughs> like, it's funny. When you get to the, and the oh, the classroom. There's, there's a, y'all know how I feel about classrooms at school. <laughs> like, there's a school in the we game, know. and yes, you, you don't, you, once you get past it, you don't necessarily have to go, have to go back to it, but they put you in the school. There are classes, there are tests, and everybody in the school, all the children are running at different frame rates. I lie to you not. <laughs> like there's a there's oh, nigga. I thought you were gonna that, say something different. That is yeah, that facts. was the shit that I mentioned last week. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. Like all of niggas just moving weird. Like why is why is that little dude moving at five yeah, FPS? But like, that nigga moving at sixty. What's going on? Yeah, uh, it's like all the NPC children characters that aren't actual people. Like Nimona, your rival, she runs fine, yeah. but like everybody else is just jittery as fuck. Cause I look, I like the let's go feature. If I'm out in the wild and I'm trying to level up my Pokemon a little bit, I think you get less experience for, for, for doing it that way, by the way. I might be wrong. Yeah, but it's faster to get experience. Yeah. So if you find like an outbreak or something, you could just yeah. farm that so, outbreak. So I like it. I like it for training your Pokemon and leveling them up. But I, but I don't like it for actual real battles. Why would I why would I want to do that? That's trash. So if the game is just to me encumbered and littered by a whole bunch of like Yubi style esque activities. So I had enough, and I I literally deleted it. I was like, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. This is this is trash. Like I want Pokemon. You know how I want Pokemon to stay the same. I'm gonna be real with you. I I don't want it to like do this drastic change. I understand they say people been begging for an open world uh Pokemon game, and the open world is not the problem for me. It's the the, the fact that they add all this extra shit that I don't know who asked for it. Maybe I think some people they're still did. trying to appeal to the to the younger audiences because you know the games don't have nearly as much creativity as they did when we was growing up. You know, we yeah, actually had to DS solve there. puzzles just to get to the gym leader, yeah, and shit like that. Like we had to actually fight everybody just to, and we was exhausted Pokemon wise by the time we got to the gym leader, stuff like that. It, yeah, we don't I, they don't have to do that no more. It's, you got a it. different generation. You got you got a bunch of you know I ain't gonna say a wontons out here. You got to make the game easier for. Mm. Wow. What I what I did like right is uh it, it's kind of like um like the it, with Pokemon being open world, it's kind of like the effect that that uh you know Elden Ring had on Souls games where okay you don't have to do things in this order anymore. You can go fight a boss in any order that you want same thing with the with the gym same thing with the bases same thing with getting pokemon because remember like in like typically in certain pokemon like if you can't get to this area yet you can't get this pokemon i got my starting six pokemon right at the beginning of the game i like i knew which pokemon i wanted i no doubt what was gonna be my my lineup my star lineup i went right out and got them and i was like okay now now i'm set for the rest of the game but i so i like that part i love that part but the rest of it, nah. I deleted the game. I'm done with it. Nintendo, Nintendo got my money. It sucks. All right. Damn, you didn't even see the end of the refund. Bro, I'm gonna be real. I was, I was trying to. I couldn't even find where to get, get a refund from. I was too lazy. I was like, I never got. I never requested a refund from Nintendo. I couldn't even really find it. Y'all send me that link though. Maybe I might still try to get it. Yeah, but, you can. Cause I know somebody in Discord already did get a refund. They actually got it. Yeah, send me that link on on how to do it. Um, but it, like I was so surprised because listen, there was I I bought I think five Nintendo games this year and I and I really loved all of them and I was like yeah Pokemon, about to just cap it off and I was like this is terrible this this it's, this sucks. It's mostly Game Freak dog. That's that's all you gotta understand. Like Didn't they, they not... apologize. Yeah, um, Nintendo had to apologize on their actual official Twitter about the state of it. They uh, said that the game. We'll get patched, but the, the new patch that came out recently, like on the first, that's not the performance patch that's supposed to be coming. It's just like an update for like the online. There's actual cases of where like, you know, the one shot insta kill moves that have like a low accuracy. They were killing people left and right, like like a hundred percent accuracy. So they had to patch that shit up real fast. So yeah. and hold on, I've been holding this in for a while, Jack. Let me know how my oppression goes. Right, we we go. apologize. <laughs> Please understand. Please understand that Pokemon is trash. And yes, and even right. and even the the conventional Pokemon battles for some reason I can't put my finger on it. They feel empty. Like they just feel I'm like why am I not getting any satisfaction from these battles? They just felt like very disconnected and 
empty and just soulless. I don't know what oh, it's it was. Because like it's being in 3D and stuff like the 2D used to be. This nigga could, playing Pokemon, but not Midnight Suns. I just want to okay. let that be known. Hey, man. BG Pokemon. didn't even be God of War yet. I, I love BG Pokemon. started Callisto Protocol on Midnight. I, I had. You won't play Midnight Suns. Hey, no, but seriously, when you going to start playing God of War, BG? No, I'm going right back. I'm going right back now. I, I mean, listen. Do you not like it? Like, are, are no, bro, I re- no, bro. I really like it. I got really far, but I had told people. I literally told people, and I heard, had already paid for the, uh, paid for like, you know, the, the cover art and everything like that, that for the playthrough. So I, and I told people, yeah, I'm a live streamer because I really thought I was going to be able to beat God of War before that. That's what it was. I was like, yeah, I'm going to beat God of War before those games come out. Come out. Nope. That didn't happen. So I was like, let me just live stream it. Get, get them both out the way. And now I'm going back to God of War. So okay. that's what happened. Um, but yeah, Pokemon sucks. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm tight. I'm disappointed. Uh, sucks for me. So you wasted money on that, too? Yes, sir. Hmm. You know what else you wasted money? Actually, I don't. I can't confirm that you wasted money on, but like Callisto Protobol. I mean, did, did, I call it, <laughs> did I call it or did I not call that game? I don't know if you 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 name flip and make fun of every game before it comes out. No, no, no. But I I, I predicted who, I predicted who the villains were going. Oh to yeah. Be. Oh yeah, the, Who the hey, final boss none, was going none. to be. Don't spoil so, it. Don't what spoil the it. final boss was going to do? Yeah, it, no. Bond literally jumped in my stream. Right, he he hasn't been looking at this game at all. He jumped in my stream. I was at the end of the game. I beat the game uh, t- today. Right. He oh, said dang. he said the final boss is g- the, the 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 villain is going to be bald. The villain was bald. He said <laughs> the the final boss uh, was was going to be bald because the villain and the boss are two two separate. The boss was bald, and he said the final boss is going to have a bigger balder mode. It literally had a bigger balder mode. Like it's <laughs> it's it's saying like I don't know what it is with games and 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 like the villains and the bosses being bald. It's like it really they be got, happening. They got nothing left to live for. That's why they want to render that hair. That's what's going on. <laughs> the cra- the craziest thing about the game is I saw the most nightmare fuel monster ever. It was. A bald zombie with two heads. It was like it was double bald. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, you know, if I see that shit in real life, I would self delete myself. I like, I ain't fucking with that thing. <laughs> oh my god. Um. So, and I got some Callisto Protocol gameplay coming up. Uh, should but okay. Before we get into Callisto, there was a new Last of Us trailer for the HBO uh, TV show. Um. Got to see some new things. So Ashley Johnson, who plays Ellie in the game, she's going to be playing Anna, Ellie's mother. Um, Troy Baker is going to be one of um, uh, David's henchmen, one of the cannibals. Uh, he's probably going to get clapped. Uh, Frank is in the show, who is uh, David's, um, not David, uh, Bill. Bill's boyfriend, um, who we see as a corpse in the game. We never actually, he's not mm-hmm. actually in the game, um, but he's actually casted in this show. So we will actually get to see him alive uh and neil Druckmann confirmed that there there will be stuff included in the tv show that didn't get to make it in the game now Mm. now y'all let me know what y'all what y'all think that means to me that means that because some people are taking that to mean that they're changing like major parts of the story i just took it as oh they're adding parts but not changing and then stuff that just didn't like make it into the game like like frank being alive for example like think, frank, that's what i thought he meant by that that's that's exactly what he meant by that bg whoa oh. what the <laughs> hell, hell, hell. i knew that nigga was gonna pop up <laughs> every <laughs> time i think i think it means y'all know anytime we have source material and then we be seeing all the differences like the uncharted movie anything we see from video game to uh tv or movie i think we go see some stuff and that's gonna be the excuse to say as to why that's not how it went in the game I think that's. I think they're trying to give themselves out already. Not at all. Well, BG already mentioned uh, the part of uh, Ellie's mom. That's an example of something they added. And mm-hmm. Frank, that's the example of something they added that was going to be in the original game, but for story reasons and pacing, they took it out. Hey, Wonton, how do you feel about the rumor and conspiracy theory that they're purposely trying to hide how big that girl's head is? <laughs> in <promo>? um, <laughs> Hey, listen, man. I know I've been on the defense team for the show. The girl looks weird. She looks weird. There's no way around it. The bitch looks weird. But Bro, she looks like the alien from Prometheus and Bob. You like, know, aside, aside from how she looks, is you know, 
Go ahead. One time. Is it wrong to say she's the only one at this point that looks out of place? Like the only yeah, person. Out of the the whole me, character, that's crazy. No, no. Let me tell you why. Because what you're saying is not wrong, but let me tell you why I have issue with it. People are saying the way she looks is going to affect the performance. To me, that's it makes no sense at all. And the two do not go hand in hand. Yes, she might not look exactly like Ellie from the game, but at the end of the day, it's her performance that's really going to make us or make or break it. Basically, if her performance but, is not good, that's what's really uh, going to fuck uh, up the show. Y'all, 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 do y'all really believe that though? One time with how she looks, there's only so much we can get from her performance to make up for the exactly. look. Exactly. Like if they if they if they had a, a white guy recasted as in uh Wakanda Forever. With a child, well, that regardless, no matter, it's not the same. It's not the same. Regardless of how good that person was, if yeah. he did not look like Chadwick or a Black Panther, wouldn't that have fucked up the experience? I'm gonna tell you why it's not the same, though. Go ahead. The reason why it's not the same is because at the end of the day, this is still a girl who, even though she's a little bit older, she, she's it's believable that she's a teenager. Um, she's still a white girl. It ain't like they casted some Latina or some shit. Literally, the only reason people are, are upset or on the fence about her is because of her facial features. You got a big outside of that, she, outside of that, <laughs> no, she fits, if you if you read the, the description of Ellie on on just a piece of paper, she still fits that. It's just the, her facial features is it doesn't match up with the game, and that's why people don't. Y'all, like y'all it. seen if her I acting other stuff? Jack, I would think he was an NFL lineman. That don't mean nothing. <laughs> is she is she a good actress in the other stuff she's been in? I've never seen her act. Only is I only know her from Game of Thrones. She was really good in that. See, He's I been in a few things. She's there's a show called His Dark Materials on HBO that I feel like um, Bro, is underrated. She's ain't really good in that show. To, look, y'all tiptoeing. Ain't nobody trying to look at this girl, little beady ass, right <laughs> beady eyes, eyes. Yes, sir. Like, come on, man. So, real quick, there was there in, in the she clip. She definitely like she glued her eyes on every morning. In, in the, yeah, in this trailer, she there was this part where like Ellie was being like morbid, like acting like she was uh, turning. Um, I guess this is after they learned that she's immune. And she does this little yeah. thing, like she acting like she's turning, and I'm like, that didn't work for me. Like, I, I just, I just don't see her still exhibiting Ellie's personality. Can't wait, can't wait, I can't wait till we watch. Then they show. got the, they got the one screenshot where she with, uh, with a girl from Left Behind, and and it just looks, it just looks out of place, dog. It just doesn't look right. It looked like the reason, the reason for that, like people are wanting it to look like how they remember it from the game, and that's just no. not gonna happen. It's not, not that happen. simple, one time. Like her, her facial expressions can only get her so far. We already have ex- expectations of of a face, face not not like feature wise, but expression wise too. That we you expect look like from the camera head from Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, here, and here's another thing. Um, apparently, <laughs> Joe's wife is black now. She yeah, yeah, yeah. Showed, showed, sure. showed his wife, but his daughter is played by a biracial girl. Yeah. Yeah. So then his wife got to be black. Yeah. Yeah. How um, do you feel about that, Barn? <clears throat> I don't care, but I, I want to make a bet right now. Over under the first infected being being bald. Oh, no. <laughs> mm. Oh, no. I'll put, $2. I'll put $2 on it. I ain't willing to do it. I ain't willing I'll, to. I'll make a, gentle, a, a dollar gentleman's bet. Uh, the first infected. We, we, we'll talk about it after that. Yeah, put yeah. me on the Excel sheet. I'll yeah. do that. Um, but yeah, like I think some people were freaking out, like, oh, they're changing the source material. That that's not what I don't think that's what's happening at happening at all. They're just showing you stuff that are that's still well, canon, but you didn't get to see it in the game. It's still like Anna yes. is still canon, all this stuff, Frank is still canon. You it's just not the way you saw it before. The problem with that argument is that you're talking about transferring three and a half hours of cutscenes into a fucking Eight to thirteen hour first season of a show. Of course, you gonna see shit you ain't never seen before, yeah. man. Like that's common fucking sense. I don't understand what the what the issue is. People panic when they. I have a There's question no about. I have a question about this show, and it does kind of worry me. So the story of the game is actually pretty good, but we gotta be real about this. There's no overarching villain or bad guys. In the game, in the first game, outside of the infected, how's that going to translate to a TV show? So make the, with, uh, the same exact make way. Marlene, <laughs> they can make Marlene appear as a, a villain. I mean, it's going to be probably... mostly about the journey and the people they run into during. Exactly, yeah, but I... you you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, and I, I, get, I get what you're saying. I, what you're saying. I think I... it will be focused around the undead at first, <clears throat> the first season at least. 
Speaking about that story, Bond, we was have we might want to say this for after dark, but we was having a convo last night on if Last of Us or God of War, which one has a better story and which one has a better narrative. But well, they were talking about part two or um Ragnarok. We are jumping around. Yeah. Now. Um, well, yeah, but yeah, we can see that for later. Okay, I would so, have to say God of War has a better story because if God of War didn't have a good story, the game would be a six overall. Fine. Yeah. We can uh, talk about it later. Mm. Attic, real quick, uh, make it quick, sir. You want to talk about Pokemon? Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I think that opening the game up to an open world took a lot. Like, look, did Pokemon ever have like a huge narrative focus? No. I, I think it, it was interesting at times, but you know for the most part it's always been a, an average storyline but on here it's like oh you take out a gym have a cutscene take out a gym have a cutscene take out a gym have a cutscene like I, I feel like since they opened it up the way they did there was no real way of them actually having it have a narrative i disagree i mean i don't think that's the open world's fault though legends rc was just fine yeah, the pro, the pro, I mean, here, here's the thing. When Pokemon first came out, it's just like when Zelda or a lot of games first came out, there were no stories. But as, you know, time, the medium, things expand, you can better fit narratives into the games. And Nintendo, Game Freak, whatever, they just don't seem to want to do it. The best Pokemon stories in their games have been either Gen 5 Black and White or in Sun and Moon where they emphasize story a lot. But people complain about that. So now... We get something like this game right here that's just open world, the base battle, which has already been saturated already as it is. So it's like, eh, whatever. I I don't want them doing this open world shit again. I'm Me either. Real. Me either. Like, I, yeah. I think, I, I'm sorry, I'm putting that as the culprit of the whole reason I don't like this game. I, I think they try to open it up. It, they try to do a Breath of the Wild moment where you feel like you're adventurous, you're walking around. But after you... After you did a couple, like, the thing about Breath of the Wild had a lot of atmosphere, a lot of immersion with Breath of the Wild. Here, it, they, they tried to do the same thing, but with Pokemon. Oh, what are you going to see over here? What are you going to see over there? That shot got, that shit got old very fast. Yeah, traveling wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. It worked for Legends of Arceus. They just had bad approaches to this game. And, and like, looking at that map sucked, too. Like, just looking at yeah. the map sucked. Like, this ain't it. And, and yeah, but it's just a lot of small stuff. Like, even when you catch a Pokemon, like, you know, there's like a Pokedex animation. I'm like, I don't need to see this every every goddamn time. Yeah, it's like an actual book into the entry of the actual Pokedex. And, yeah, and I, I like with that. I like the uh, the new little face thing that's in it where they change the type of Pokemon that there is. I just don't like the look of it. I don't like the crystallization shit. It's like it looks like they got. It looks like they got chandeliers on top of their heads. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Literally. A couple, a couple just... games ago, they took away the option to skip. Um, I forgot what you call it, but basically those animations that happen mid battle because it slows down people's <laughs> experience. Yeah, literally, all they had to do was have like an aura of the co of the color of the type behind them and they could have did the same thing but like the crystallization thing i feel like they just wanted they wanted it to look flashy that's all it was yeah. mm. the animation is fine it's just having to see it every single time it happens yeah and it actually makes their animation for their attacks a lot slower to wait for them to pull off too <laughs> yeah okay yeah but that's that's about it all right appreciate it attic um appreciate you two wonton coming in here you know always being our tv show movie correspondent Nah, he's just defending the Last of Us show. That's all it <laughs> really is. Well, Anton, yeah, real quick, I, I, uh, what, what, go ahead. I was gonna say I do disagree with you a little bit on the 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 Marvel Midnight Sun thing, hey, but you know I'm not gonna argue about that. But you mm -hmm. you guys have a good time. <laughs> that nigga gonna play an addict. Don't uh, worry about yeah, it. Though. If I do, y'all would never know. Y'all will never know. I'll make sure y'all never find out if I do. Oh, so um, you the person to appear offline just so you amen. ain't wrong. I got you. Hey man, they be they be doing. Hey man, everybody else be doing it. I'm gonna do it too. Um, all right. Hold it now. <laughs> all right. Uh, Ranking that boy. Let me see. Uh, where, where we go now? Uh, so, Monster Hunter Rise is coming to PlayStation and Xbox January 20th, launching. Uh, so, yeah, it's gonna be 4K 60 um, or 1080p 120 on next gen platforms, 3D audio, dual sense features. Sunbreak expansion is coming spring 2023 for anybody. And Game Pass. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's gonna one. be an Xbox Game Pass. Um, no, no man. cross save though. No cross yeah. play. No cross save with other platforms at all. Yeah, but that's not surprising because they actually made like an actual 
like questionnaire if, if you wanted like cross save to be in the actual game before the PC version was out and before Sunbreak came out. So it's not surprising but, the Xbox and the PlayStation version don't have it because the PC version doesn't even have that at all. So it might happen for future future games in the future, but I don't know. I feel like it, there's a there's a rumor that for it. there's a rumor that something about the 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 contract with Nintendo prevents them from letting them make any yeah. game cross play. Yeah, because it, it, but if you notice, like, because for Monster Hunter Sunbreak particularly, the wave three of the uh, Sunbreak expansions is already over now. It's already out. So that's why now we're seeing PlayStation and Xbox versions being announced right now because Nintendo had that exclusivity deal. That's why they opened up on a direct when they first announced it, too. Yeah, but even after the launch, you know, they they capable. We know Capcom is capable of making crossplay happen. It's just like I said, there's a there's a rumor that they are not allowed to. Yeah, That's what I was just saying. Okay. Indeed, but it's a big uh, <coughs> game to be on Game Pass. I'll give it that, so I won't really slander it at all, really. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna play it my damn self. All no, right. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna stick to my Switch version because I put the most time into that, and since whatever. Uh, Ew, I, I saw Blandrew, um, I think he tagged Bond in this earlier in, in the Discord this week. Uh, this report from VGC, there Ow. was an, there was an XCOM-like Metroid Tactics game um, pitched inside Retro Studios. I think this was, this was, this was a while back for the Nintendo Wii, though. Um, thoughts on this? Anybody? Say that again? Uh, XCOM-like Metroid Tactics game was, uh, de- was pitched for retro studios um like during the no, Wii. Absolutely not. Does Metroid have enough enemies for something like that? Yes, it does, yep, but it definitely does, does. Does Metroid like First of all, it goes against what Metroid is. We're not trying to play tactical Metroid. Mhm. Yeah. Nobody wants to do that. They barely want to play yeah. this one. <laughs> and second of all, why why would we put retro studios like who who would you play in this game outside of Sam is some nameless Federation scrubs. They can make so. new characters, probably. That's we what they saw would have what happened do. in Metroid Federation, Metroid Prime Federation Force, or whatever. When you know Baron thought it was a game of the year contender, and that it's a shame that it wasn't nominated, and you know people that didn't like it weren't true Metroid fans. Meanwhile, this motherfucker never beat any 2D Metroid, including Super Metroid or Fusion. Oh, Get him, banger. And uh, what what did uh, Federation Force Metacritic? I believe it got what? Did, let's see, it got a sixty four, as it should. Game's trash. Mm. Okay, and uh, Witcher they confirmed. Uh, CD Projekt Red confirmed the Witcher remake. The original Witcher remake um, is going to be open world. Um, Give PC gamers some new personalities. They yeah. they make Witcher their personality. They make Half Life their personality. <laughs> they got we got to get y'all some new traits about y'all self, bro. Yeah. Y'all only ever talk about these same three games. Because uh, the original obviously wasn't open world. So now that this one is being remade, so uh, so farther along, um, I guess it makes sense. Um, but I did read that they said the remake is gonna come. They're gonna release the remake after they release The Witcher Four. I'm like I thought the I thought it would make more sense to release the uh, release the remake first, and it would take less time to do it than Witcher Four, but that's the order they're releasing them in. I want to play the Witcher remake. I want to I want to want to check it out. Okay. Oh, now, now he want to play. Yeah, because they remaking the first one. I want I want to give it a shot. But first one wasn't even that good, or the first one or two weren't that no, good. No, it was good. I mean, if you put it now, it wouldn't be good. Nah. Okay. Okay. I can't uh, wait for y'all to. I can't wait for PC gamers to get like a new flagship game to to like to boast about for like the, yes. another ten years. Because <laughs> if I if I hear more conversation about Crisis Witcher, yeah, they, what still, else? they still talking about Crisis One. That shit came oh, out in what twenty what two thousand eight. Well, Crisis One was an anomaly that'll never exist again. Like that game was like the best looking game for how long? A while. More, more, and most like, intensive. Literally, more than an entire generation of consoles went by, and that game was still like the best looking game. Yeah, and never, it'll never happen again. Speaking of Pretty games odd. that PC dudes be boasting about forever, um, Portal with RTX is coming out December 
Eighth? Eighth, I think. Portal one or Portal Two? It's the original Portal with uh, you know, RTX. Um, so the game, listen, I ain't gonna lie, it looks amazing, right? And I'm I'm not I'm not one of those that really be blown away by games with art with artsy with ray tracing. Um I don't think I, I bro, I, I don't think I ever actually beat the original Portal. I played it, but I don't even think I ever beat it. Played so. Portal Two? I think I played both of them, but never ended up. I like, don't. I don't even it. think I didn't play Portal One, but correct me if I'm wrong. I don't even think it really had a narrative, a story. I think Portal Two. That's why it was so great because it actually had a whole like Glad with Glados, right? I think it was. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's what I. I don't even. I never heard people talk about Portal One. Yeah, Portal Two had a, a story. Portal One was kind of just more puzzle. Um, I beat Portal 2 again a few months ago, too. Good game. Yeah. So, Portal with RTX coming out. Uh, I'm sure PC gamers are hyped for that. I'll probably I'll probably buy that and finally beat it. You know, why not? Uh, what else? Um, Jeff Keighley says the uh, Game Awards are going to be shorter. We're not sure if he believe, if we believe him. But nope. hopefully it is. so tired of that nigga, bro. That nigga be <laughs> gassing up everything he doing. That shit always some trash. Yeah. The Jeff yeah. Keighley and Friends show where he shows you how many friends he has. I was about yeah. to say, he might take out the Jason Derulo performance. That's probably why it's going to be short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, he hyping up the show and all the world premieres and all the games that are going to be shown and everything. And it's going to be shorter, more tight. You know, you know, the whole Jeff Keighley rollout to get people to watch his stuff. Can y'all tell me his background? Like, what did he, did he, was he ever a developer? He used, did he, he used work? to work at game trailers. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's working. Nigga like finna it? come out. Nigga finna come out in a suit and some and some sneakers again. I'm so this tired. Is, this, of that is, nigga, this, is, this is why I fuck with Jeff Keighley, right? Because no matter how much y'all criticize him and don't like what he do, y'all still gonna be there watching that goddamn game awards. Every time yep. he do something, no matter how much we know he bullshitting, people still show up. And he laughs at himself. I can appreciate that. Like he sees all the jokes people make and he be responding and laughing. So I fuck not... with Jeff Keighley. Yeah, he's... salute. And when and when Spike TV shut down and stopped doing the game awards. He took it under his own wing and, and got partners in there with it and, and made that shit pop again, bro. So I ain't got nothing but respect for that dude. Yeah. Um yeah, he's a good sport about all the jokes, so he to do that obsessed with that. um Hideo, right? Huh? Kojima? Ain't he to do that obsessed with Kojima? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. That's his that's his mash. That's his boo. <laughs> Absolutely. What? They <laughs> call this nigga's boo. That's his boo, dog. What you, what you want me to say? That's definitely that's his man crush every day. What's up, man? Ew. What, <laughs> no, 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 what, do you, what do you do now? He made a... He ain't do shit. <laughs> he ain't do shit before. <laughs> he got that nomination, dude. Mm. Oh, who won it? I, I forgot. No, the show ain't happened yet, so... Uh, yeah. But we already know what's about to happen, though. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah and he's, Jack was uh, Jack was mad his twin Trey Rags wasn't on there. Come on, <laughs> Um, So, the GTX 1650 is the most popular GPU among Steam users. Yep, a 1650. I mean, yeah, that's the one that most of the pre-builds get get used with. Yeah, it's good. it's just getting thrown into there for for like the the I want to say like eight hundred dollar range uh, pre-builds. Mm-hmm. So niggas of, what, actually what paying of, a grip for them too. What type of fidelity are you getting with that? Something to brag about? So, Not nigga. at all. <laughs> oh, so you telling me a majority of PC gamers playing on bullshit? Okay, it's nigga, a that, it's a good nowadays 1080p 60 GPU. Nigga, that, oh, yeah, exactly. God. Like. 1080p60 is the goal on that thing. 1080p60, what we oh lord, have that's the goal on that thing, <laughs> literally. Um, because even like laptops or are coming, are coming with like your average laptop now is coming with a stronger GPU than that. I got a 3070 in my laptop. Yeah, hey, you so. got that. Lenovo you don't still, use right? that whole bitch. I don't. Yep. Yeah. Um. And and it's funny because yeah, like you can argue, <clears throat> you could say that those sixteen fifties are a bunch of like, you know, they're probably not like a bunch of hardcore um, gamers, right? But a, a lot of PC dudes, I feel, and as we know, they it's like they take pride in ha- in like squeezing the juice out of like the weakest GPU and and like take pride in like oh I I'm going to have this GPU as long as possible before upgrading. That's that's their that's their thing. Right? Like they 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 sleep at night and like have great dreams like oh yeah, I have this I still I still have a 2070 from smelling the fumes of them trying to run the games. <laughs> Yes. Here go, here go, go, Jay, BG, calling niggas broke. This yes. 
oh, I still have a 2070. I haven't upgraded in six years. It feels so good. That's how they. That's how they be acting, bro. Like, DJ, you sound wild today. Yeah, what are you weird. saying running, running like a fucking dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. That's how they be, man. But um, shout out to them, bro. Um. Xbox Series X, according to this report, Xbox Series X was uh, the the best selling product on Black Friday, and uh, PlayStation Five was the top seller on Cyber Monday. Yeah, that's how a bunch of people get that God Award collection. <clears throat> yeah, um, shit selling like crazy. Them, I guess. It, yo, it, them, I guess. You know, it, uh, right, go ahead. It's really easy to get a get a PS Five. I want I, people get upset when I some people get upset when I say that. By the way, um, oh, a lot of people still get upset. Yeah, because they think right. it's 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 an elitist thing to say, like, "Oh, you elitist, you and you know wherever you live, and maybe easy for you, not easy for us." Uh, listen, I'm just speaking in general. It's Look, like at, at this point, if you don't have a PS5, you either can't afford one, which is fine, or you just don't want one. So stop acting like you do. Well, they, don't have, they don't have a credit card to order one <laughs> offline. Like that's the only way I can see not having one. No, nah, you can get them. In, they got they got them in yeah, stores now. Yeah, that ain't they in stores now. Yeah. Bro, if you go to Amazon right now, I'm pretty sure, right? Because I've been I've been testing it out because people like get mad at me when I say it. If you go to Amazon right now and you go to the and you look up the PlayStation Five, uh, and you go to the page, it'll say request invitation, and you'll get an invitation to buy a PS Five within the week. So Bro. yeah, you may not be able to buy it right out, you know that that moment. But I've tested it multiple times. I've gotten an invite with within like four days every single time I hit the button. PlayStation Direct website has not sold out of a PS5 in months. They've had PS5 hey. bundles in stock for months, bro. Readily available every single day. How do y'all feel, 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 like, uh, feel about the death of the big box stores not having any uh, weight on Black Friday? <laughs> like, back, like back in the day, you could get two, three games for the price of maybe two and a half controllers all type of stuff i don't see no deals but a roku tv remote yeah, at walmart true. and best buy stuff like that like there is no need for black friday and big yeah, Box black friday anymore. fucking suck this year um, tvs electronics like controller yeah i think it's because we already kind of passed the boom of people going to blu-ray and hd stuff like everybody already kind of got everything they need now I think it's partially because we all know where and when to find our sales nowadays. Mm, Physical yeah. media is also dying. It's just kind yeah, of but I guess back in the day we were looking at them little, uh, them printed papers where it's like legit saying the the images where you had to kind of grab it when you walk first in the store, see what they had yeah. on sale. But. Yeah, I I do the least amount of shopping around the holidays. Like it's Agreed. it's re it's reverse for me. Like black, I almost never buy anything on Black Friday, bro. It's Unless you get something like a like a good SSD or something you yeah. kind of like need or want, it's just priced too good to get to not get. Yeah, bro. The last the last thing I bought on Black Friday was a G Shock in 2013, bro. You know, you know who got some good Black Friday deals? Is goddamn Nike, bro. Nike got because they got they got some stackable deals right now. So y'all get on Nike website. Mm -hmm. You know what they doing? They clearing out the little garage they got with all the out of season stuff. If you they ain't a hype, if you ain't a hype beast, you just like normal good looking shoes, bro. You can get some nice shit right now. Okay, hot take. Let's but talk. You can just go to Nike Factory any day of the week. My Nike Factory let, good, bro. Let's talk about it, bro. Dillard's I'm, New Year sale um, is better than uh, Black Friday. You calling Tony a hype beast? Yes, dude. Huh? <laughs> well, now why am I in this? But uh, I was gonna say, and the deals be fake too. Like I remember, I bought this um, this cologne thing, uh, like maybe a week before Black Friday, and then I, I'm on the website. I'm looking, I'm looking. I see, I see the exact shit I bought. I see it's what did it say? It was like now sixty, sixty bucks or whatever, down from from like a hundred. I'm like, yo, I'm about to order this new one, send the old one back. Let me go see how much I bought my joint for. I go look at the receipt and see that shit says 62. So it must be some fake <laughs> yeah, sales, bro. They increase it. They increase it and then uh, put it on sale. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the curve. You get the curve cologne five pack. What'd uh, you get? I should show ass. So. I'm asking what cologne you. I like cologne. I'm trying to see what brand you got. Mm. I got. I got the <laughs> the Jean Paul. Uh, what was it? Lamar or some shit like that. I don't know. That shit's okay, my okay. nice. So. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I caught the Creed Aventus today, too. I caught the Creed Aventus today. Yes, what? Sir, yes, sir. Kind of like some national treasure. Creed, Aven- what is it? Creed Aventus. I drank 500 a bottle. All right. That's what you price. You said what? The Creed Aventus. I don't even think you're pronouncing it right, though. Look it up. Look it up, nigga. Look it up, nigga. Hold it down. Nigga said I bought. He said I bought. I'd be buying that shit. He said I'd be buying that shit. I can't pronounce. That's how much money I got. Fire. Don't forget to add the soap and water, brother. That's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to take you a long way. You wouldn't be able hey, to uh, hey, I, put oh, it down. This is random, but we might need to try to get uh, Weapon Wheels sponsored by Manscaped. We had a deep dive last night on uh, tactics and brands. Bro. BG, we might need to get into that. We was up at three in the morning talking about how we shave our balls, nigga. That was crazy. What's it's wrong not, with y'all? Not, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't don't discredit us like that. We were talking about the technique, what we were recommending products, right, our B- horror BG, stories. Please we had a good mute these people. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is wild. We had some learning going on there, motherfucker. Really. No, it was, a, it was a great time. What's wrong with y'all, man? Hold it down. It was actually four in the morning. Trying to grow as men, dog. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm doing what I'm saying, man. Like, yeah, man, y'all yeah, mature y'all black men. Like, nah, if y'all you going you going against the grain? If y'all want to be mature black men, first of all, you don't shave against the grain. That's Second a, of all, he, some people didn't know that. Some people didn't know that in the chat. Second of all, if y'all want to be mature black <laughs> men, the first thing you can do is learn how to fucking swim. <laughs> oh, oh my God! No, we're not. We're I not think, having I think, this conversation. I think you her a little bit more. I don't know. What I we, mean, we, we 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 had people in the Discord saying no. trying to save black people, teaching them how to swim oh is God. racist. Mm. <laughs> wow, that was one of your mods too, by the way, BG. Oh, Grab no. your Oakleys and get in there and swim. Clean, Clean up your fucking so. server, BG. <laughs> homie, <laughs> homie got homie got timed out for a day, so he 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 got his his repent. Oh man, y'all ready to talk about Callisto? Um, yes, sir. that's the only reason I came to the podcast. What the hell? Oh, shut up, Jack. Since boys. apparently I'm the Simon Cowell <laughs> of video games, I'll, I'll go last to talk about the bad stuff. So Before, I, I haven't played this game, but I just said this game looked like trash. Y'all can talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> I so I beat the game. I think I'm, I'm the only one in here that beat it already, right? Yep. Yeah. So let me let me get, I guess get through it. This is it's 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 a lot. Uh, it's it's a lot to say. So Callisto Protocol, you know, uh, spiritual successor to Dead Space. Um, you know, Glenn, Glenn Schofield is the CEO. He, he, uh, you know, he was one of the dead space vets. So he making a spiritual successor. We all know that. Um, so Sony visual art studio help with the mocap and the visuals, um, just to get out that out the, out the way, you know, so, cause some this people is not on Xbox. It, it is, it no, is. but it is. They, they, they just, uh, use, you know, cause Sony has a mocap studio and, and like two visual art studios that only work on like mocap and visuals. So. Oh, oh. Sony helped make Resident Evil 8 as well. Mm-hmm. They helped him there. They filmed all those. Shows. Yeah. Let me just say, PlayStation, some PlayStation dudes absolutely jumped out the window on this game because they saw, uh, oh, 150 Sony devs help make the game. They only worked on the visuals, that the, the mocap. That's all it was. Because there were definitely PlayStation dudes, oh, it's going to get, you know, it, I, saw, I even saw people saying, oh, they're, they're planning to acquire striking distance. I'm like, y'all need to relax. Y'all were definitely jumping out the window, right? So that that there was that, right? But the mocap looks amazing in the game. The visuals look look amazing. The environment, all that amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. Amazing. Some of the, you know, top, you, it's in the top visual games. Um, PC performance, as we know, they patched it, but initially it came out, it was very bad, very stuttery mess. Uh, Metacritic right now, I think it's like at a 73. Um, a lot of people didn't expect it to be that, be that low. Uh, I was kind of wary about the game because, like I said, each trailer they showed, it's like they were trying to hide something, right? Um, They just wouldn't show the game in long segments. It was always this little piecemeal. Oh, we're going to show you a trailer here that that happens in one room. Um, And another trailer that happens when he's going down a slide, but it wouldn't show the game in long form. So I was a little bit, you know, wary of that. Uh, Just how shallow the pool was. Yeah. Uh, the, the, there's, there's no new game plus in the game. New game plus comes out in February, right? It's part of the, yeah, there's no new game, play. it comes out it comes out in February. Um, and it's like part of the, it's not part of the season pass, but it's, it's, it's like part of the, the rollout. There's other stuff in the, in the season pass. Um, so let me go with the pros first. The audio is amazing, right? I like to give credit where credit is due. I, I even found who, who, who's the lead audio engineer for this game. 
And I hit him up on Twitter and I was like, yo, you body that shit. Like the, this is some of the best audio I've ever heard in a game, especially with the uh, 3D audio uh, implementation. It's are you, amazing. Are you, playing, are you playing with headphones or your speakers? Because I know you got headphones. the big double decker. Okay. I, yeah, I have three, I have 3D uh, headphones um, that support, you know, the PlayStation 5. It's, it's amazing. Some, it's like the audio is amazing. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Yeah. What, yeah. what headphones do you have? Oh God, what are these called? Uh... They're not the Sony ones, are they? This, it's the it's the Steel Series. Uh, it's the Steel Series headsets. I, for, I forgot the uh, the brand. They're like they're like the blue and white ones, right? Uh, well, these are all these are all like gray black, but they're like three hundred dollars or something like that. Oh, they, they're 3D a tidbit, audio. a tidbit to that audio. If you're playing in headphones, it's to the the character's name is Jason, right? Or I'm Jacob. 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 Uh, you could. When you walking or whatever, there was at one part I was just walking and I walked past this hallway. Something whispered in the back of my ear, Jacob. I was like, Oh, oh yeah, that was, bro, yeah, that was mm -hmm. bro, I jumped. I was like, Yep, yep, yep. yep. Give me that. Give me that yeah. fuel. Give me that nightmare yeah. fuel. So audio is really good. Like I said, I, I hit up the dude. I was like, Yeah, you body the shit. Gave him credit. Um, the environment is it looks beautiful. You know, they definitely did their thing that way. The the, the visual team. Um, I do have a problem with, I guess, the audio. Well, not the audio. I mean, the, the atmosphere, right? <clears throat> because the environment is good, but the atmosphere isn't like... The, most most horror games are not necessarily scary, but like this, I feel like this game has too much light. It, it's too bright. It's um, not the game. The game is until the final all. boss, it, though, right, BG? Yeah, yeah. It's not scary. <laughs> it's not scary at all. And most games are not necessarily scary, but like... It, it, there's some games that at least give you an uncomfortable feeling, an uneasy feeling. Dead Space does that. I would say even the beginning of certain Resident Evil games do that. They make you feel unnerved, right? This game doesn't do that at all. It it feels I more. It, I think it makes up. I think it makes up for it with uh, the narrow corridors and the the limited uh, um, like maneuverability you have in those little segments. Yeah, because there were times where when the door opened, I'm just like, oh my god, I got to walk around this corner. Like that's more irritating even, than scary though. And, and it is because of the camera angle help um, adds to that irritation, but I feel like it kind of makes up for that and just how claustrophobic it feels in yeah. them in them corridors that I've played. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they, they you know, I, I just feel like they could have done a better, because it's not scary at all, really. And there's a bunch of jump scares that, like, yeah, that didn't get me at all. Nothing, none of the jump scares got me. They were pretty cheap. The voice acting is good. Um, the animations in general are amazing, especially the death animations. Yeah. Only the only problem comes in is that, like, you know, if you're I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Uh, you can by the see way, it a lot. yeah. So you can't skip the death animations. They're cool at first, but there's some really long death animations, and you're like, all right, brother. So you gotta, you know, you you would pretty much have to hit hit start and then go to rest and hit restart checkpoint because you're not trying to see this whole damn thing. Um, My only problem with the death animations are is that they're like not seamless. It, like it, it's basically yeah. a cutscene. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it goes into a little cutscene. It goes yeah. into a cutscene. It's not like something like that just happens. It's a jump cut. Yeah, yeah. It's a. It's and like. It, it, yeah. It looks weird. It, it, it's like uh, some of like the Transformers movies, like how it'll be one frame here and then it'll jump to something like wait that that wasn't a complete motion. Right, so that that is been jarring. The only time that's been jarring is because you don't. Sometimes you don't realize it's cued, so you think mm -hmm. you're still playing, and you're just like, "Oh my god, no, I died!" So you just in the I gotta watch it. Yeah. So animation work also amazing. The environmental kills because you get you get kinesis, which is you know Dead Space. It's it's kinesis. Um, you know you can grab enemies and throw them. In this game, it's it's a grip. Uh, they call it the grip. Um, to you know, and that that ability and throwing an enemy into like environments like spikes and fans and hazards that's that's probably the best part of the gameplay they they did a really good job with that that part is really fun um they said playstation 5 has the best performance on xbox it's kind of gimped i think they released a patch for xbox also uh pc uh, we already talked about it's a stuttering mess um now to get into the cons right oh. <laughs> let's go so there, there's so many like little. There's a a lot of little things wrong with this game, and there's there's a few big things wrong with this game. And it and it's and and the biggest flaw is the gameplay and gameplay mechanics. And I've been I can't believe there's actually been people like trying to argue me. Some people trying to argue me down on Twitter, trying to really make it seem like even even though you're showing them and you're describing it, trying to make it seem like oh there's nothing wrong with the game. Oh you're just Oh, you you just can't handle it, or they're they're trying to make it seem like oh the game is too hard for you. L listen, th this game is not hard. Let's be clear, this game is not hard, even on the hardest difficulty. Y'all oh, are no, that bald dude was mopping you. Hey, it, I mean you know, it it was 
it was a boss. But people are confusing the challenge of a game and the trouble you have with like bad gameplay mechanics. That's not the same thing. You're fighting against the game. Like you're fighting against your controls. It's not the people. Exactly. The enemies in this game are nothing. They are they are literally, bro, the the AI is damn near retarded. The the AI like look, look at look at this scene where I'm doing right now. You could literally kill enemies right next to another enemy and these enemies are blind, right? These are pretty much space clippers. They're zombies though, aren't they? No, there's a there's a reason why there's a reason why they did that. There's no targeting system. So they it, it literally the camera is so close and there's no targeting system. It you have to they can't all jump you. You wouldn't be able to do nothing. You'd just be sitting there. And in some situations, there's and, and it's in this gameplay too. You're gonna see me. I'm gonna be in a room with like five of these things and they're all attacking me. And the and the camera is just going crazy. The camera doesn't know what to do with itself, right? Mm-hmm. So I, it, I got a quick question before you continue. Are these zombies, monsters? It's plague? a virus. They're affected by a virus. Okay. It's not actual and, zombies. And it's just ha- it just happens to make them all go bald. <laughs> pretty, I ain't even got that far to find out it was a virus. Pr- pr- pretty pretty much right, and it, it's the it's the gameplay mechanics that are holding you back. I'll give you a perfect example, right? Okay, in in a lot of horror games or a lot of horror survival games, games in general, they started to implement a uh, a quick turn feature, right? Mm-hmm. Which if you need to, and enemies behind you, you could turn around really quick, right? A game should provide you with the tools you need based on the circumstances. Nobody is saying hold the game needs to hold your hand. Nobody wants that. But you should give me the tools. If I fail to use the tools, that's on me. But if you fail to provide the tools, that's the game's fault, right? So in this game, you know, the a major mechanic is dodging. Like you do a lot of dodging in this game. You do it with the left thumbstick, left, right. That's that's how you that's how you dodge. And you could be put a lot of times in narrow corridors, right? In, in, in very small rooms, like jail cells, damn near. And the FOV in this game is extremely small and tight. So an enemy could literally be right oh. next to you on your left. And you and and, F, and because this this can't this FOV is so small, you can't even see him. You know he's right there, but you can't, but you can't see him. A dude could be right behind you, of course. The camera's so so small. Once again, you're in a tight space, you can't see him. Plus, the game. Is ve- you, your character moves extremely slow, sluggish when it comes to turning, aiming. Anything in this game is extremely slow. So given so given that fact that the game is slow, the FOV is small, they put you in small small you know tight places with enemies. Why does why wouldn't it have a quick turn? That's that's a that's a flaw because. You can't because if because once again like it, it's so complex to explain. Like okay, you're dodging an enemy, right? If you're dodging one enemy and another one attacks you, you're, the game like sticks you. It's like this sticky dodging system where it sticks you to this enemy that you're dodging. And the animations are so like long that that like it, it holds you vulnerable to an open to attack. Everything in this game like has a long animation. If you need to heal yourself, it takes like six, seven seconds. You need a, you need a reload. Bro, you need to you need if you need to switch if you need to switch weapons and reload, that might be 8 9 seconds. I'm not and that's not an exaggeration. Right? And it's so crazy that like everything is so animation focused. Like let's say let's say I want to switch weapons. Right? Okay, boom. I I I switch I hit the button to switch weapons. And the animation comes out, he starts to bring out the weapon. If I aim, if I aim my gun before the animation finishes, of him taking out the weapon, it'll go back to the weapon, the original weapon. That's how insane that is. So imagine, imagine you need to kill an enemy. You you need to switch guns because this gun has no no ammo in it. You you need you need you, so you hurry it up. You switch into another weapon, but because you aim the gun before the animation is complete, the the gun is out. You see the gun is out, but because the animation is not complete, it goes back to the other weapon. That's insane. That's stupid. So now you're you're getting fucked over and you're getting fucked because the the because the game is everything in the game is animation based. It's like I, I got a whole bunch of shit I could point out. For example, in the store, right? In in the store, if you want to buy an item, most most games, like okay, I want to buy a health pack, I want to buy some ammo. Most games would actually okay. What's the quantity you want to buy? You can't do that in this game. If you need to buy something from the store, you have to buy it single. You have to buy it one by one, and then it has and it has an animation. Of, of it printing in the store. 
So if I if I want five, you know, five pieces of pistol ammo, I have to sit there in the store and I have to buy it one by one by one. Instead of just getting instead of it just asking me, oh, you want five, you know, you want this is the quantity you want and just giving it to me. You have to sit there and do it over and over again. That's stupid. Like, it's just a whole bunch of small shit. Like, are, are y'all, how did y'all not think about this? And then the, the inventory system, this game throws a thousand items at you and starts you out with an inventory of six. That's all you can hold. That's nothing. The game, like, the, the game throws items at you constantly. And you can't upgrade your inventory. The, the inventory upgrades once you get to a certain chapter halfway through the game. There's no inventory upgrade that you can do manually. That's that's out. And also, the game, there's in, in the store where you upgrade your weapons, there's no upgrades for like oh uh for like reload animations. There's there's no upgrades for like health, armor, um, like e even quick swap to, to quickly swap your weapons, that unlocks by a chapter. You can't do that throughout the whole game. You have to wait till you get a certain chapter and then they and then they tell you, "Oh, you can you can quick swap weapons now." Why wouldn't that be something why, why is that why is it like an ability you unlock to quick swap a weapon? That that's some simple shit like you should be able to do by pressing a a a, a damn, you know, directional button at any point in the game. It's like a whole yeah. bunch of dumb shit it's like a, it it's tiny stuff too. I'm I'm running into tiny glitches where uh my outfit has changed in my game. <laughs> I I booted it up, my black and white stripe. Now I'm wearing orange. I don't know how to change it back. Uh the save system. Have y'all run into issues with the save system? Yes. The save system I, isn't really a save system. It's not. It's literally just still a checkpoint. You know that mm -hmm. part that you were stuck on for like 40 minutes with the five with the four dudes in that corner? Yeah. I passed hold that. On, hold on, 40 minutes, PG? No, that that was, part is literally. There's busted. a re and there's a reason. It's because there's no targeting system and the camera's too close. Um, I passed that manually saved, turned the game on, and it put me back behind that spot. I had to redo that part again like an hour ago. Yeah. Um, because real quick on on the saving system, right? Okay, so boom. In most games, if you upgrade your weapon, once again, everything in this game is animation based. So to upgrade your weapon, you got to go to the store. It gives you this long old animation of your weapon being upgraded, right? If you die. And don't hit a checkpoint. You have to go back and and upgrade your your weapon over and over again. I had to do this because right mm -hmm. I got it, because I upgraded my weapon and then I had a boss fight. So every time I died on that boss, I had to upgrade my weapon over and over again. Even yeah, if hey, I, and credits credits yeah. don't re, don't save either. You have to re you have to go pick up the same Callisto credits like if you uh, if you die. Yeah. Even if I save like okay, I upgrade my weapon and I save. It doesn't matter. The save doesn't do anything. All it is, it, it's like a, a it's, it's a checkpoint confirmation. They're just gonna go by where your last checkpoint is. The save literally does nothing. I'm like, I don't even know why this exists in the game. This is I don't anything. know if you I don't know if you talked about it, but um, you in the beginning of the game, if you choose performance or fidelity, you can't switch it back. You'd have to start a whole what? new game. To, yeah, oh, you can't switch. Wow. You can't switch in mid game. If you, I I did fidelity just to see what it would look like. If you go to the options, there's no way to switch it back to performance. You have to create a new game. A Are new you serious? Yeah, I don't know if um, me and Ray played about that last night. There's no way that to switch it. That is crazy. And the, bro, who, who is and, the, and the graphics look issue? the graphics look crazy on performance, like abysmal on performance. And I'm usually the nigga that play on performance. I, I play on performance. Play I didn't. I didn't mind it, but I didn't look at uh the other one. I got, oh, I got yeah. no, if you, I'm gonna go after BG. The, the, oh man, let me, let me try to get everything out. Um, the, the end game economy sucks. Like the, shit don't even make sense how expensive some of the, some of the stuff is, right? Like you may, you may spend a whole chapter, you know, even if you step on every enemy, you know, you get everything in a chapter, bro, the amount of money you might get might be, might equate to like one upgrade. Like yeah, you, you you I'm dead ass. You got some cheap, you got some cheaper low level, you know, upgrades and, and stuff like that, of course. But you could literally get everything in a chapter, and, and that'll be like one upgrade. Like there, you're not even gonna get close to upgrading everything in this game in one playthrough. Which that's which, a dead which, space issue. Too. Which is which is fine. No, which is fine. But you're not. But it's like, but dead space at least has a. New game plus. Once again, this game doesn't have a new game plus yet. It comes out in February, and it's like it's like 
you you're just very far from like from like even upgrading everything like it, it and sh like sh shit is just way too expensive it doesn't even make sense how 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 expensive shit is like it's it sounds like they arbitrarily trying to keep y'all on to the game for longer than y'all supposed to be yeah what what else i got um oh yeah the weapons the the weapons feel so redundant right and in most games you play every time you get a new weapon it's like usually different from the the first one right this game essentially it, it it's it essentially gives you a pistol a pistol shotgun a shotgun <laughs> and it, it's, it's the assault assault rifle i think that's it you, you it doesn't seem like you were shooting a lot. It seems like you were hitting people with a lead pipe. And and because the, yeah, you got to end the stun baton because you got to like they have the, it's very melee focused. You got to do that to like wear the enemies down, um, because you're just gonna be wasting a whole lot of ammo if you're just like just playing it like Dead Space. You can't play it like Dead Space. You gotta you know melee first. But yeah, like the weapon, the weapons were were redundant. I'm like, why do I have two shotguns and like two pistols? They they don't perform that different from one another they're like the same thing they, they act the same they act the same way bro i'm like i don't i don't i don't get it like it's just so redundant and, and, and pointless uh the enemy final variety score? huh final score i i ended up giving it like a like 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 a six um like yeah it's just this artificial difficulty because the game mechanics are, are bad um there's no safe by the way you know like you, most games have a safe for you to uh put your stuff uh, take your stuff out of the inventory and put it in a safe like oh i don't want to i don't want to just drop the shit i have all the shit i've collected on the floor oh let me put it in a safe no nope. game says nigga you can't have a safe like why most 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 games have something like that or at least somebody really sat in the room and said this is my idea for making the game more difficult. Hard hit. I got a theory. I got a theory as to why this game is playing. It's, like it's missing game. such ba missing such basic shit. And, and here's the thing, right? Because I was so mind blown by how like bad the game mechanics were and all the shit that it that it lacks. I looked up the uh the the design director of the game, right? At Striking Distance Studios and the um the lead gameplay system design uh systems engineer and it's funny on his linkedin play page i guess you can call me abraham linkedin also he says he talks about like oh how he's the one who who managed the gameplay mechanics like the dodging and all that stuff so yeah i'm like okay nigga you responsible right so the 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 uh the design director he has like he's like a 20 year vet he's worked at um he's worked at sony bend he worked he worked on days gone um he worked at Visceral Games, at Battlefield, uh, Battlefield, he worked on Dead Space Three, um, Godfather Two, and a whole bunch of other stuff. The Systems Games, all that. The um, the lead gameplay systems designer, he worked at PlayStation also as a principal gameplay programmer. He worked at Rocksteady. He worked at Ubisoft. They got mad experience, like, like with good games. So I'm just I, I'm just looking at their profile. I'm like I'm confused. How do you have that experience with all these great games, but then you make this? You know I what? just didn't you know understand. What it was? I would say that it, they needed just a little bit of the Sony hump to get them over, but Sony games be having the same dumb bullshit a lot of times. So I don't know what it is. Yeah, BG, do you feel like it's gotten to where you have no faith in the combat at all? That the the deaths have no weight. Like when I die, I I literally don't care. I don't feel I don't feel cheated. I don't feel upset. I don't. I'm just literally like okay, and I wait for it to load up because I have <sighs> like the game itself is so shallow. Um, and I feel like the only way I can describe this for those that haven't played it, remember, you know, when you watch TV or movies and they always have the typical kid playing the video games and there's just nondescript random when as a gamer, you're looking at the TV and you're just like, nigga, that is literally a video that they press. Play. There's no game that looks like that. You, the way they're gripping the controller, pressing all these buttons and the, the gun is just kind of wait that fake game that we see when they just need something to portray a video game. That's what this is. When you play this game at the functionality of it makes no complete sense. Everything that BG has said, this is like an expensive meal with no real taste. It looks pretty. It looks like it has the dressings of what could be a great experience. And even I was fooled in the first hour. I even live streamed it for like an hour to put on my Instagram. I went back and watched it for some clips. I'm like, dang. I, I, the first 40 minutes, I felt like this is about to be heat. This is about to be heat. I get to the part that I talked about earlier with the 40 minutes and 
it all crumbled. It, it was like the facade, the curtain had been pulled back. This is a very shallow experience that looks very pretty. And it feels as though this is something that they just need to put out to say, we need a game in December. And this it makes it makes no sense. Mm-hmm. Some of this makes no sense. The dodging co- mechanic. You have no targeting system for a dodging mechanic. The camera is way too cool. Like simple stuff that there's no way that you played this. It's almost as if you have to beg the question: Did they play test? Did they pl- like what other games have y'all played where it's like there's no way they played this on this difficulty and felt like this is yeah. either fair yeah. or this makes sense or that this is fun and. For this game, I wasn't even two hours in, and I'm just like, bro, is this it? Like, <laughs> am I seeing through the guise of what this game is? Like, it's a pretty, it's a pretty shimmying, uh, walking uh, melee uh, ride. It's like if you go to Universal Studios and, and the Spider-Man ride, the, the line is the ride. It's like you're just in there looking at, oh, they got the office, they got this and that, and no, that was in the movie. But when you sit on a ride, you realize you're just sitting there and you're watching it. It's let a me, very it's it's a guise. It's like a sleight of hand of what we've been dealt. And let me read this. Let me, let me read the super chat. This is one of the dudes I've been I've, I'm talking about who are in denial, who don't understand the difference between a game be a game being hard because the mechanics are bad and the challenge of the actual game. Fair is the greatest motivator. BG is actually bad at Callisto. You're an idiot. The game is extremely easy. I beat the game in in like ten in ten hours flat, and you can see I actually flew through the game. He said, this man died 15 times at the beginning. He knows the part, played ex- the exact same difficulty, took me uh, two tries. Okay, cool story. That doesn't mean, a- what don't you get? Okay, I died at that part, right? And and it's funny is, I I watched Jack play the exact same part when he live streamed. The it, J- Jack didn't watch my live stream. The exact same thing that I said J- was coming, Jack said too. The exact same thing. He was like, none of this is making any sense. This combat, these mechanics. Jack, am I tripping? You were saying none of that shit made sense. You know, it, unless you play it, because we had an argument in Discord, people aren't trying. It's like it's hard for them to wrap their mind around it. I literally had to tell somebody in Discord. I said, go grab your controller. Use the left analog stick. Imagine you're walking forward. They was like, OK. I was like, now try to walk to your left, but also dodge left and dodge right and try to move in a con- like imagine trying to use the same stick to dodge. There's no parry to dodge and move in a combat scenario with more than one enemy. That and it's like they, they, they literally had to jiggle the the, uh, the little thumbstick to be like, oh, I, and I'm like, that's what we're saying. It's it's not ergonomic. It may, they should have had an L1 button and then use the analog. There should have been another layer to the combat. And they're literally saying, oh, move and uh, hit and all like with one analog. It doesn't and make so sense. It's like, it's like you're moving one way and you got to do this kind of weird double tap type thing to dodge. Is that this what is the, it This it's, is the definition it's of punch out. Say, it's literally it's punch out. out. It feels like a mobile game. It literally feels like it, this This should have been a swipe function. Nigga. Like, it makes no sense. It's pu- like, I like look, okay. Like, okay. Like, at, like at the part because, where I was... Go ahead, Vaughn. Because arguments don't happen in Discord, so why would you be arguing about something that never happened in Discord? <laughs> you stupid boy. Well, yeah, usually once Arguably. it gets around 2 a.m., we start talking about actual real stuff, and that... But... And it's like, it's, yo, it's, with these people who who are, def- like, I, I like this game. I actually like this game, even with all its should flaws. It a, but Should it get a sequel? But the, I, I think it should if they learn their lesson. But the people who are saying there's nothing wrong with it and trying to blame the player, th- those are the niggas that are getting on my nerves. Listen, like, Maximilian, Maximilian, like, I like I know Maxim, he, he doesn't, he doesn't, the, like. The uh, fighting guy that has an Asian baby. Yeah, he does not like rage quit anything. Like, oh, ma- like he typically doesn't. I've never really seen him rage quit anything. This is a guy who's pl- who who I know like he loves Resident Evil games. He loves Souls games. You're going to tell me a, a nigga who play who beats all these hard games that you're telling me that this game is hard. I'm bad. Are you stupid? Are you retarded? I need to know are you retarded? Are you deaf, dumb, or retarded? Which one? Because you got to be one. Hey. If you're telling me, oh, something's wrong with me, no, nigga, the game mechanics are bad. You cannot, you cannot put, you you, you cannot put. Listen, line. listen to what I'm saying. You cannot put a player and with with this small FOV in a fucking four by eight box with two enemies, and then tell tell the player, hey. Uh, dodge left and right, but also dodge the dude to the left of you and behind you that you cannot see 
because the FOV is too small, but you also cannot turn around in time because the character is too sluggish. You every, cannot do that. Every, if you defend time. that, you are an idiot. <laughs> well, every, hold on. I, I, I got a good point like on that. Fight. When, when are we doing the God of War vi reviews? When are we when with spoilers being done, we're going to talk about it in full. I mean, uh, I said uh, we're not going to do any spoilers until like uh, next year. So anytime next year. All right, because I want that same energy with what you just said for God of War Ragnarok. Yeah, that's, uh, that's have fine. You, have you played? Have you, you haven't played Callisto, Bond, right? No, but I'm just saying, I everything BG just said, I've been saying about Ragnarok. Yeah. No, this but, is this is my thing. Unless until y'all play it, you're you're not you're still they're gonna have like an uh, a disagreement. Like, nah, it just don't make sense. Nah, what are y'all talking about? You have to play it. You have to sit here and try to play it, and and you'll get it. It's it'll like, just, bro, it just, just does. worse off than God of War. But those problems exist in God of War. Like, I, I, but what, like, what you're saying is like, okay, I get what you're saying, but God of War at least gives you the tools, right? Good games give you give you the tools to counter the challenge. This game says this is the this is supposed to be the challenge, and but we're not going to give you anything to actually, so so you can actually act appropriately. That's that's the problem. Okay, you you can't you can't have for example, you can't even really run away from enemies in this game. You can't really do because yeah, I was once, wondering why you weren't even trying. You because you can't really do it. Like remember, I think you were there when um you tried to jump over something and they the dude just clapped you. Exactly. You can't jump over oh, anything. You can't do any maneuvering. You can't really run the enemies like in most horror games like you you may not have the fastest speed, but the speed is adjusted to the point where okay, I you can keep I can keep my distance at least just the right amount. You cannot even run from enemies in this game. Once again, the area is too damn small. Your 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 character is way too damn slow. You can't do anything. You don't be pressing the L one button to run. I mean, you could and oh, and here's the other thing. For some reason in this game, this game has like these all all the time for some reason they have these parts where you cannot run like i it's like when 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 there's like these the, the little goo is on the floor or whatever they use that as a reason oh you can't run at the you can't run at this part and it's all the time why can't i run why this doesn't make any oh, sense bg you tell so me so you they, um... they, 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 it's like it's like force walking times 10 and and enemies are around. It's force walking when enemies are around. That makes sense to you? The majority, the majority of my deaths come from trying to hit somebody and they hit me at the same time. Do you be it, down a lot? Yes. That that's what that's, that's what, what all my deaths is because I'm trying to I literally you oh that's the thing. You get penalized for trying to be proactive and killing the enemy. That's if you and, try to hurry up and press R2, 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 or if you dodge and try to uh counter, they'll hit you wow they'll hit you as you're finishing your full swing and it'll count for a full hit on you and, and that's what jack was saying that's what i was watching that's what that's the main part that i was saying that doesn't make any sense about the game and idiots like that fear is the greatest motivator don't understand it's it's against gaming logic right if i do if i attack an enemy and i do a swing typically that enemy should not be able to swing through my swing and then trade. Unless Even if they cancel your swing out, you shouldn't be hit. You shouldn't be damaged by it if y'all both bounce off of one another. In God of War, you just you can do that. You'll just still get hit. Like exactly. God of War, it won't it won't stop the animation. You still gonna get damage on you though. But at least and at least in God of War, once again, God of War has animation cancels. So if you are about to get hit, typically. Unless unless it's like a, a a move where you have to overcommit to it, you can cancel out of it and dodge. This game, you once you commit to something, that's it. So Whoa. if I go for a swing, right? Let's say I start swinging before the, before the enemy start, way before the enemy starts swinging. If mm -hmm. that enemy starts, even if it's in the startup animation of the swing, I'm gonna get hit. I swung I swung five seconds before you, and I, and we're talking about regular enemies. I swung five seconds before you. Oh, you! Oh, you swing at the last second. I'm getting damaged. That doesn't make well, no well, sense. You, you, it makes perfect sense. Who did the mocap? Well, uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's mocap bases. That, that's no, no, no. Who did it? I mean, Sony helped. And who also did the Last of Us ones mocap? Yeah, 
Yeah. And you know, oh, Bongo, man. Bongo, that's Bongo, not. Bongo, no, no, that doesn't. This doesn't happen in other PlayStation games. This doesn't happen. You see where I'm going with this? This does not happen in other PlayStation games, sir. No, but what's the? You know, those animations looked very similar to when I seen him swinging that stun baton. I was having PTSD. Crazy part is the way this game plays. It it's easier for you to just sit there and and die. You know what's crazy? Y'all was actually holding left and right to just wait for the dodge, right? Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I, yeah. I, was, I wasn't doing that until today. I was literally timing it. I was going left when he swung, right when he swung. Now that I try to do it, I just hold the left button. I'm like, bro, this game because, ain't even hard. There's no depth to the combat. You just because, hold and wait for the swing. Because the game, like, I've never, I've never seen a game tell you this, right? Right at the beginning of the game, when you when it introduces dodging, the game literally tells you there is no window for dodging. You could mm -hmm. lit so there could be no enemy on screen. If I hold left and and right, it doesn't matter when I do it, as long as I'm holding it at any point, it will automatically happen. There's yeah. no strategy. There's no rhyme or reason. No strategy to dodging. Just hold the hold the button. That's some mobile game shit. This, I, like I said, this game plays and feels er ergonomically like a, you know what, this is like when Sifu, this is Sifu on like um, easy mode, like on Sifu, if you just go, if you jiggle the thumbstick left, right, left, right, left, right, you'll dodge everything, it, it really doesn't matter if they do a leg sweep or a punch, you'll pretty much 90% of it dodge all of it. This is like Sifu on close your eyes and just listen for shit. Like you don't have to do anything, you, you really don't have to try. You really only die. Because the game is so shallow that you'll get hit. You'll get hit while you hit. You can't see anything. He'll hit you in your back. <sighs> They'll throw you over to the corner. Your camera's stuck on the wall. There was a time I had a, a combat uh, scenario where I couldn't move my camera. So I was just stuck trying to... <laughs> I was watching his back trying to see, okay, when he about to swing. Because <laughs> I couldn't even see myself. Like, it was crazy. Uh, let me read another uh, retracted <laughs> um a comment from fair is the greatest motivator um as, as tony would say. Uh, yeah i'm using retracted that's what tony does when he wants to say another uh yeah. he said so so if you know the enemy can stagger you through your attack why the hell are you gonna do the same thing over and over then then be more patient and wait for an opening y'all got a learning disability see, see once again you're either being <laughs> dense you're either being dense or on purpose or you're an idiot and you don't know I don't know which that one it is. That nigga talking like you playing Fight Night or something. That's so here's, here's the thing. You, That's how you're, it feels you're, sometimes. you're missing the point that it goes against logic that the enemy should be able to do that in the scenario. That's number Mon one. Because they're monsters. They're stronger no, and bigger. Num number two, Bond, you, like I said, you have to play it to, to get it. Number two is that there are literal situations and people, people who watch me stream will tell you, it, you can wait. For the enemy to attack, right? And they'll just stand there. And you're like, okay, the enemy is not attacking. And then literally, like, I've waited like five tests, and then literally as soon as you go to attack, they just hit you. It's like there's programming in the game mm -hmm. that, that reads the player's input, and as soon as you press the button, that's when they attack yeah. you. Oh, I lie I to you. I can show you video proof of this. Video oh, I proof. I did that before. SNK ball syndrome. I bro, I did that before the podcast started, bro. I was playing, and I literally was like, okay, let me see how many times they swing. Because, you know, some enemies, they'll swing once, they'll swing once, and then some of them, it's a you got to watch to where they'll swing too. Because if you dodge the first one and try to hit, then you get hit with the second hit. And it got to where I was just staring at them, and they would just do one swing, one swing, one swing. I was like, okay. I tried to do second one, the nigga hit me with a second one. I was like, oh, my God, you haven't done a second swing in, like, 20 seconds. Exactly. Like, it, it literally is... is it punishes you to play the game smart. It, it punishes you for 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 attacking, really. But fair's mm -hmm. the greatest motivator, nigga. That's probably playing the game on easy. Gonna tell us. Yeah, I can't. And I'm wait not, I'm not even I can't wait till Jack plays this game. He is playing Bitch. it. I'm playing, playing it. Are you playing on the hardest skill level? Yeah. How are you liking it? I like it. You're not frustrated? I thought I thought you would be. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely fun. No, this is the thing. Um, the oh, are you streaming? Yes, I'm streaming it. And I like the game. I, I like the game. It's just highly flawed. <laughs> like, it's the same yeah, thing. Jack, I didn't, I ahead, didn't watch Jack. the stream yet, Jack. How do you feel about the... Uh, the um, combat, like the combat and all that. I'm like, I'm like a little bit over two hours in. I just got the little grip level or whatever. I, I like the game. So far, I really like the game. But what I would say is um, the, game needed a, the game needed a dedicated dodge button because 
That shit, like BG said at the beginning of the game, it tells you it don't matter. Just it's like just hold a stick, bro. You'll 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 duck it, bro. It's good. Just hold a stick. That's not true. That's not true. And that was a bailout by the developer. Thank you. I think if they would have moved the dodge button to like an L one, um, it would have worked out way better. The problem with this game too, I'm noticing, you cannot dodge if there's not an enemy on screen, right? So, and I, I go back to God of War because I just got through playing that. In God of War, if you double tap X. You're going to be evading, right? You can do that when nobody's around. Um, in this game, you can only dodge when there's enemies on the screen. I feel like if you could dodge when there's nobody around or you don't necessarily know where the enemy's at, it would be better because, like, you just can't see sometimes. So you can't even disengage when exactly. you're looking in a certain direction and there'll be an enemy behind you attacking you. Um, I've had moments in the game where I hit the wrong dodge button because, like I said, it came up God of War. I tap L1 to dodge because I'm still in that mind state, right? And he'll dodge. I hit L1. That's not the fucking dodge button. Then I've had times where I hit the actual dodge button, and he don't dodge. I'm yeah, like, hold on, what? Because, Jack, yeah. you may know an enemy is behind you, right? But you mo for the, you pretty much have to be looking at them to dodge. Yeah. So how can I dodge something that's behind me? Yeah. yeah if, if, the, if the I'm... game sets you up to only dodge what you can see, how? and I know he's behind me, what can I do? Nothing. I can't do I gotta. Yeah. I got to. I just got to die. I have to approach those combat scenarios. I literally have to maneuver myself in the room so I can see everybody just so I can hit them. I, that's how I have to approach every every uh, combat so far. I think it was a mistake not making... I think they should have made the dodge mechanic more time and skill-based. I think that would improve the gameplay. I don't. The reason I think they didn't do that is because you can get swarmed by enemies and there's no telling which one going to attack you at which point. So it just... I don't, know, I don't know. I feel like... I, first of all, I feel like they went to the wrong developer. They shouldn't have went to Sony Visual Arts or whatever the fuck they named. They should have went to Naughty Dog. They saw what Naughty Dog did with the Dodge Button Last of Us Part 2 two years ago. With the, the contextual dodging and the... Ma they should have went to them and asked them, hey man, help us with this fucking dodge mechanic we implemented in this game. And what's crazy is that I think this game is closer to being a good to great game than it is to being a bad game. I just feel like and I feel like a lot of shit is patchable. I think they just need to patch the game, man, especially uh, that dodge no. mechanic. No, I, no, I said you that. Can't, you can't patch an integral game mechanics like that. Well, I think they can patch it. I think they can. I, I don't I know, know if they, they could patch it, but I said, I said, that's why I say I w actually want this game to get a sequel. I think this game could easily be great. A sequel could, you, you change like three major things. This game is easily an eight. Easy, at bare minimum, an eight. But like, they just decided not to make, not to be smart. That's my issue. But, you know, you got morons defending clear, clear shit that can't be defended. Y'all niggas are who, who uh, get I'm, me I'm gonna I feel about the game when I you get know, and, I was saying this in the Discord earlier today that a lot of the people, they are very uh, ignorant and they ignore fundamental problems of games, but yet they'll attack bigger YouTubers like Angry Joe for not being overly critical. So they don't want to be overly critical themselves. But when they find out somebody's pandering, then they'll get on. They'll get on them. It's it's a weird thing. Yeah. Um. And do I do want? Oh, go ahead. And the enemies. It's like the enemies have no real, like unique thing to them. You know, like they're oh, just they're just expect? they're just they're just oh monsters. You know, like it's not like uh the the necromorphs where you know it was all about their limbs. You kill these things, like. Any old yeah, generic these, these niggas just have these niggas just have boils and need aloe vera. They're just like and they mutate. Little, That's it. Yeah, I haven't even got that far. I, I got to play it after the pod, but um, I will say this: uh, it's hard to we speaking to what he said about being critical. We have been playing all video games for 10, 15, 20 years. Some of us, some, 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 some thirty. Right. We have played so many games, seen so many narratives, so many mechanics. It's not about being Debbie Downers of, you know, every time there's a game, oh, it's a laundry list of things that's bad. It's it's like we've come too far in gaming and technology and what we've been exposed to for us to be spending this money and developers seeing what the field has and what's available. It's getting to where when games come out now, it, it's not like we're looking for the bad things. It's like, nigga, that's mainly what it is. It's like, yes, you can have fun, but know that your experience will be gimped by this, this, this. And it's not because it's not possible. It's because they didn't care to put it in. So I it, it, it's kind of... I disagree to an extent. Because I, I get exactly what you're saying, but at the same time, like, I feel like I'm not having as much fun with God of War as I should be. 
Mm. But in my head, I'm like, this is a fucking good game. But the mm. problem is, it's like, you're right. We've seen everything so many times. It's hard for me to be blown away by a game now. And little shit that probably wouldn't irritate me at all if I didn't have the amount of experience I've had probably wouldn't bother me. But because I've played so many games, I've been playing games for 33 years, I've been around it, like, the smallest little thing drives me absolutely nuts. And I don't yeah. like that. Yeah, oh. and that's what that's what I've been kind of accepting within myself. I, that's why i just kind of been, like, the way I've been approaching games, I it's hard to uh, not have a cynical view of every experience. It's hard not to. Here's some other shit. I'm, like, I got more stuff that's wrong with this game. It's the laundry list. You know how... So let's say, um, like in Dead Space, right? Um, you need to refill your Kinesis bar to, to, you know, so to grab and throw stuff, right? There was a button dedicated to that, if I remember correctly, right? I'm not tripping about that, right? To refill the bar? To refill, so to use the the energy for the Kinesis. I think, I think it was a, it was a station you had to go to and hit it. But I could have sworn, okay, there was a station, but there was also pickups you can use to refill it. And I, uh, I don't remember. Any, either way, right? I, I think there was, I'm not sure if there was a dedicated button. Maybe you had to go into your, to the menu to do it. Either way, like in this game, let's say you need to refill the grip, right? So you can grab enemies and, and throw them. To do it, you have to go literally into your menu. Mind you, all this, like once again, this shit is slow as hell. So you have to freaking go into the menu like move around like mind you my nigga a boss is in front of me i got five months five monsters crawling towards me right people said it was the triangle button okay cool i, I i'm not bugging so then my, there's, there's a there's a boss in front of me there's a there's a whole bunch of monsters moving towards me i'm literally i literally have to open the menu fumble through my inventory to manually use a, a refill to get my shit back up like to refill pause. my shit. Like oh, pause. Pause. Yeah, pause. That that's what I gotta do. Because unless I'm tripping, there is no dedicated button in this game. Nah, let that pause breathe though. Like you you just like kept talking I about had to, go to the bottle to get my shit up. Yeah, like what? The like that's pulling a Zaire and shit. <laughs> it's it's so insane, bro. I, I I could not believe it. That's man this this is it's just so much like little flaws i couldn't believe i can't believe you know they let funny? so much shit slide in this game you know what's funny bg because i was just thinking in my mind returnal wasn't perfect and i had an amazing time playing that so honestly yeah even when games kind of lack in certain areas nigga just make it fun and we'll we'll be able to like keep it pushing but this game is to where it's like it's it's almost damp at least for me, it's almost kind of dampening well, the fun. Your, to your credit, there's certain things that are, regardless of the game is great, average, or amazing, there's certain things that are non-negotiables. Yeah. The old view. Non-starters. Yeah. yeah. Um, motion blur. Shitty-ass frame rates. Like, mm -hmm. um, res res responsiveness and controls. Um, you know, the camera. Like, there, there's some yeah. things, like, no matter how good the game is, like, these tiny little things will destroy the game. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, this seems like a game that is plagued by a lot of those things. And like people, I saw people trying to use realism as a way to defend. I'm like, oh, man, if y'all don't shut that dumb <laughs> shit up. There's this, this dude, this realism, is a, this what? is a, this is a, lo looks like a fairly, a very healthy, maybe what? 30 year oh, old, early 30 year old man. Oh, it's white man. Right. And he moves slower than an 80-year-old woman in hospice. What he he moves like he's 400 pounds. I mean, he wearing a suit, dog. Is it a power suit or is it just armor? No, but but he but, Where, but that you, nigga wearing some prison clothes. Yeah, you start the game in prison clothes and he moved like oh, he's 400 shit. pounds. It, bro, at the end of the game, there's this part where you're running, right? It's a cutscene, bro. This nigga <laughs> looked like he's moving three inches per minute. Like he he's going he's like you know you know when when a nigga running like the whole your your arms moving and all that like you putting your whole effort into it this nigga's not moving bro game just sluggish and slow bro like I don't get it I don't but get it but they have the they have the ingredient well halfway they have the potential to like a sequel to 
go above and beyond of what we're given now. Will they but, get the chance though? What's the game gonna sell? Who knows? Honestly, who knows? bro, it ain't nothing. I mean, what else we playing right now? Need and for Speed. I hope it gets a sequel. Yo, I hope very badly it's it gets a sequel. I really do. I mean, God you about a lot of games. I do because the last two games I played, this Callisto and Evil West, it's like they're literally yeah. the, the the moral of these games is like. I don't understand what y'all did with this, this these gameplay <laughs> mechanics. It's it's such simple shit that if somebody played te- if I play tested these games, I would have been easily I would have easily been able to tell them this is a huge problem. And 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 I that's that that's what I'm wondering. Like how that's why I'd be wondering. Like I know people do this for a living. Are, there's no way that no one on earth in the play testing didn't comment on this make that note anything like I, I remember when i used to go on reddit people used to say like oh yeah i test video games for this and that they was like i've never had any a few of them people were saying like uh, some developers will but they were saying for the most part they'll give a whole laundry list of things and they and when the game comes out none of it is fixed it makes sense makes sense again because that's what there, there's such glaring shit in this game i'm like there's no way the developer didn't know about this it's glaring it's like, the only developer I've ever play tested for, and I felt like they actually listened and made the changes that I spoke of, was EA. Oh Sad. God! Well, then you know their play testers are dick eaters, shit. <laughs> like, there's a lot of games I play within. I swear to God, thirty seconds of playing the game, I'm like, how did this get by play testing? Yeah. BG, like, you feel like you, you feel like you just had therapy getting all that off? Yeah, bro. I just because I'm it, it like it upsets me inside because it's like, bro, this is such simple shit that could have made this game so much better it like makes me mad mm-hmm. and it, it because it's potential like this game has a lot of potential and and another like with developers i'm like bro just copy the just copy the the the, the game's format the game that it, that you're basing your inspiration off of which is dead space just copy the shit that's because let's be real when people hear spiritual successor and they see your game and and they're like they understand okay this is a dead space spiritual successor this is what you're making people buy it with the intention to play that game so you don't have to do all this extra different shit bro we 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 would have been okay if this was just a, a dead space copy that's fine just make it good yeah just yeah, as long as it's good nobody look, listen I know niggas be capping about all this innovation shit and. All this, oh, I want games that are different and do, and do shit that's never been done before. Bullshit. If 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 this game copied Dead Space, people would love it. But would instead, y'all, rather, y'all did some other different shit with this melee focus and all this other shit. Man, get this. Would y'all rather stay in the time period we have now where we have uh, less games coming out per year, but they're quote unquote more budget? Or do you want to go back to the times during PS3 and Xbox 360 where we had a ton of games and you would find some gems within it? Uh, PS3 was a golden age, of course. Yeah, I'd PS3. rather go back. What are you talking about? I this guess the question. The, I guess the question I, is more so like sifting through the BS to get something or having like because I mean we have had God of War, Last of Us Two uh, Part Two. We've had Horizon, so we've had some bangers. But this is the worst I, generation of gaming in like the history of gaming. Y'all say that every generation. No, I don't. I always say I I have said that Nintendo fans say that because their console is trash, or I've said Xbox guys have said that because the Xbox One was trash. I have not been excited really for anything this generation of gaming so far. Have, have you, I want to ask a question? Have y'all ever played? Have y'all ever played a boss for the boss that had one move that like just an actual boss that literally only had one move and it did it over and over again, nothing else. I'm sure we have, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, that yeah, Unch- of my Uncharted, Uncharted 4. What, what boss was that? The last one. Shit. <laughs> no, Ra- Rafe had different moves. I'm, I'm just making a joke. I don't yeah, know. Oh, okay. I just know that was a, a that was an infamously terrible <laughs> boss fight. I thought that boss fight was pretty good, but... Um, <laughs> Nigga, what? That, yeah, I'm serious. Acting like, acting your, like we were on the outsiders on, with bro. pocket knives? Nigga, what? You, your your, re- kinda, your uh, reflexes uh, had to be on champion. point. Your reflexes had to be on point for that. No, sir. That West Side Story ass fight. That shit was right. Nice, but Fight Night Champion, the dude you fight the uh the ice nigga, whatever his name was, when you actually get past the few rounds where it's, it's canned animations and you start to actually fight him, you just do the same shit over yeah, and over again. Because the point I was making is this game has a boss fight 
the boss does the same thing over and over again. I, I mean, literally. It, it's there's oh, no oh the order the order. It it has yeah it, yeah it's almost like the order uh, when you're playing Ring Around the Rosie. Yeah, and, and, and you, yeah, you, you literally just wait for them to run at you and then you shoot them. This it's actually worse than this game, right? Because wow. he literally doesn't do anything but sw swing the same animo same animation. The boss is literally just a bigger version of the regular regular enemies. It doesn't have any other diverse move set or anything else it throws at you. It's the, it's the it's the regular enemies just bigger. BG, That's insane. BG, I got to ask you a question. Is it bigger and balder or oh. just bigger? Oh god. Oh. Yeah, would you would that. you say that this is a the newest installment of a game like The Order where great graphics but it could be a better sequel slash missing this and that but there's potential? Cuz when I when I first played it I was like, "Bro, this feel like The Order. It's a short game." It's gonna have some stuff that I wish it did better, but ah, uh, we'll see. See if it's giving me the same vibes. See if, if I think, let's say, let's say the both this and the order is a six, right? There's the that we got to put tears to sixes. Like the the order is a high six. This is is like at the bottom of the barrel type six or, in in or that. You, you could you could do it like Kevin Samuel says, an adjustable six. If it had this long of a third, it could be an eight. That's what that's you said, fire. right? What's this, what's this game's dress size? I gotta know. But BG, that's what you said, right? Yeah, if pretty much. This Matt Miara could be an yeah, it's an adjustable six. Because the orders the orders gameplay is the least of its problems, honestly, to me. Like it's it the orders problems was it was too short. There was those seg those uh, fighting segments with the werewolves that was dumb as hell. And that. and, and mean, that was really why. it. That was really it to me. The gameplay is great. Oh, the uh, well, I mean, it, it doesn't have to do anything with the gameplay, but uh, terrible red, red. What's the word I'm looking for? Whatever the the cardinal sin of telling me what's gonna happen at eighty percent of the game in the first five minutes. So now I'm playing the whole game, knowing that I'm about to just get to this part that I already seen. That that story. started off in a flashback I, type. I, shit. You're probably wondering how I got here. I hate when games do yeah. that. I hate when because the, the whole seven six hours I'm trying to get to that part. I'm like, bro. And as far as the story, because we didn't say anything about the story, the, the 60 per, 65 percent of the story is I get locked up in this prison and I'm trying to escape. Right. Nothing develops from the story until the last like 30 per, 30 percent of the game. And I'll then they're and then they're like, oh, we're going to explain the background of what's been happening. That 65 percent, you're just trying to escape. Nothing else happens story wise. There's the little audio audio logs and audio tapes that may give you some stuff, but narratively, nothing happens. I'm just trying to escape and get out of prison. Jack, you know what's crazy? The the virus is actually um, they were working on a hair restoration formula and it went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and and then and then it turns in to a a very uh generic oh a virus was released story you know what i'm not gonna lie bg if i was in charge of making a zombie game that would be my uh viral origin here so trying to create a solution to baldness and something fucked up that's actually and not a bad idea and bald people were the original zombies because <laughs> what was i think it was the kingsman um what what they do didn't they make people start killing themselves because because they did something to somebody's phone because everybody has a phone so they did some shit to people's phones they oh killing, yeah the first kingsman movie yeah, yeah. Uh, he sent out a, he sent out a signal that yeah. made a, everybody go crazy yeah it was like a, a violent signal that makes humans want to kill everybody yeah it was like the poop note but for killing niggas poop, yeah. you know the poop note <laughs> Oh, you know the, the 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 one note that yourself, someone can yeah. play. Yeah. Oh God. Oh man. I, yeah, I had to get that off my chest. Um, yeah. B BG seemed like he was like mentally defeated playing that game. Um, great, fair is the greatest motivator. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not I, I don't have an issue with you. I'm not sorry. I called you an idiot and a moron and everything. I called you. I'm not sorry. Uh, but I don't have a problem with you. I, I do think you are all those things though. But I don't. But you know, I say that respectfully and. Not with any malice. You are an idiot, though. You are an <clears throat> idiot. Um, we, but we, you know, no, we we cool. I love you, brother. All the good gaming news came out this week. Kind of a slow week, to be honest. If it wasn't for Callisto Protocol, we might have taken a break. Yeah. Oh, what happened to that one dude that you was arguing with, BG? That Peter, whatever his name is. Oh, uh, he's a dick sucker. Uh, because what? What? Oh, because I Thanks. said uh. <laughs> 
some because Xbox dudes are like the worst. Some I'm talking about I'm talking about Callisto because they're they're very hurt individuals, right? I'm talking about Callisto Protocol. He some somehow finds a way to 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 bring um what's that garb scorn into this. I'm like, what the fuck does scorn have to do with this? DG, right? put a poll up about hitting the damn like button. God damn. Yeah, please hit the like button. Yeah, have you like, read the um super chats today? No, we're gonna get to him. But yeah, he somehow you know he was hurt because I said scorn was garbage, um and you know w- was uh mad because i said i still wanted a sequel for for this game and i still felt like it had redeeming factors and i said listen i it's not like i clearly said all the issues all the shit that was wrong with this game but because you know they butt hurt and they get mad when you call their game garbage they 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 feel like that's their opportunity oh i better capitalize on this now to bring up scoring like nigga nobody cares about your trash ass you know dick leaking dirty ass game like what care about that damn game bro you couldn't have phrased that any other way. That's what happens in that game. There's literally dicks leaking out the wall. Is that not what BG, not what's happening? BG, you, you, you got something to tell us about the end of this podcast? There's there's, though, there's dick leaking. There's dicks leaking out out in scorn. That's what happened in that game. <laughs> Can you start saying that? <laughs> BG been this is the most sus you ever been in a trash ass podcast, like. Though. I hate that, bro. Oh, they, that. They, oh, like Xbox dudes <laughs> always find a way to bring up trash. Like oh, rise though. Oh, scorn oh, though. God. Oh oh, what are the oh. Oh, uh, what's that other trash game? Um, God, they have so many trash games. Let me ask you a question, VG. How can this generation right now not be subpar when Nintendo has ancient archaic hardware, Microsoft is completely irrelevant, and all Sony is doing is giving us upgraded PS4 games so far? I've enjoyed what I've gotten for the most part. I mean, you're playing... I would have never <laughs> been playing a game like... Um, Callisto Baldicall last generation. Hell, I wouldn't even play it now. But I make a good point though. If you think about it, bro, if these like, new systems, if these new systems never came out, we would be in the exact same situation that we are right now. Right? Yep. <laughs> like we'd be doing the same shit. We'd we are. We had this, uh, you know, debate like two weeks ago. Um, I, I stand on. We had we had ten Callisto protocols during the PS3 gen. <laughs> Y'all just don't remember them, but I, I stand yeah, on that's that. A good, that's a good point, though, BG. We did have 10 last gen, but we didn't have to play them because we had other games. Now you don't have all those other games to play, so you stuck playing bold. That's not true. I, I got, no, I got back in that back in that generation, there was something for everybody to do. Like you, you we don't we don't really had an option like that. No. We just also, stuck with the bullshit they get thrown at us. Also, speaking of Abraham Lincoln, shout out to Trey and his straight teeth. Me and Trey can no longer be made fun of for our gaps now. We have closed the gap before Smooth said Xbox would. That, <laughs> close the gap. That's, cra- that's crazy to think about. Smooth made a bet that Xbox will close the gap, and me and Trey closed the gap before Microsoft. And how many billions did they have to spend that we did it to close the gap? Crazy. <sighs> you um, to the Xbox trade. Who, who would have ever thought that me and Trey would have the best teeth on YouTube now? Uh, just to wrap up some other news... Uh... Nintendo shut down a major Smash Bros. tournament, as they always seem to do. I don't even know why they still try to hold Smash Bros. tournament if Nintendo keeps shutting them down. But um, Why did they shut it down? For sexual allegations again, or what? No, so this was the Smash World Tour 2022, and I believe the article said Nintendo shut it down for health and safety standards. But they, pro- they probably shut it down for the reason you just said. <laughs> No, they were 100% right to shut it down them dirty clowns over there. I don't know how to use soap. Hey, if that's Nintendo, funny if that's the reason too. You know, Nintendo came in and was like, nah, this is a biohazard. We gotta shut it down. <laughs> yeah, imagine getting shut down because you're dirty. That's fucked up. Yeah, it's like a planned uh, global thing that got shut down, but we'll see. I mean that one was know. that one was actually pretty popular too. I think that was like their third year doing it or something. Yo, that's hilarious. Oh my god, what the fuck is this on screen? Niggas got shut down because they dirty. That's fucked up. Yeah. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what I had read why they shut it down. Um, that's hilarious. Um, I mean, I don't think Nintendo fans should be allowed in these public venues. There's always a hygiene issue or some kind of um, essay issue, S assault issue. You know, there's always something. Oh, an assault? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, now if it's a so I have been determined now, it's Sony's fault. 
I mean, you know what's crazy? Yeah, that's true. Sony runs it now. So mm-hmm. now they're going to take the, the burn, the, the, the issue. It's crazy as, you know, low tier God cleaned up his act, but everybody else didn't. He was never a part of them allegations, for real. No, I'm just saying, like, he was always in some fuck shit. But, you know, he got 100000 now. You know, he's gotten away from the fuck shit. Like, it's, it's just pretty wild. Okay. Um, I think I got one more thing. And one more thing. Assassin's Creed Mirage is rumored to be delayed till August 2023. It was supposed to come out um, earlier in 2023. So it might be it might get delayed till August. I, why do they announce the they anyone who announced that need to go one on one with the Undertaker? Because I'm sick of hearing them. What are we supposed to do? Oh Undertaker. man, I want to do. Yeah. like what are we gonna do every time they delay a game? Just stop talking about the games. Stop giving the release date. Just release this like an album. Just drop it. Just drop the game. From Software also admitted that they crunch. I mean, there's there's no surprise there. Um, Where's every the stu- outrage? And underpay their staff. <laughs> yeah. Every Where's studio. Oh yeah, I, I saw something about that too. Every studio crunches. We we listen. We know they didn't create Elden Ring by everybody leaving leaving there um exactly at five o'clock. Come on, bro. We know that. Like, but you know, you got some people who are the um you know the anti crunch warriors and everything like that, and think it's possible for uh. You know, you know what's crazy, BG, about these anti-crunch warriors? I bet you they own a pair of Nikes. Oh, of course. I bet you they own a bunch of clothing made in Chinese sweatshops. Well, they crunch at their own jobs. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, I bet you they've owned something or bought something in the past that has been created in abysmal conditions in a foreign country with child labor or whatever. And it's always crazy to me that, you know, when Tencent or whoever in China buys up a company, oh, I won't support them. But yet, you know, they support the companies in our country that have uh, craziness going on. Like, all right, for a quick example, right? They won't support Tencent, but they'll support Activision Blizzard. Ain't nobody else sees anything crazy about that? Or YouTube and the NBA. Yeah. With all this so it's stuff. like you you can't like you 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 can't pick and choose. The way I look at it is this: like everybody's gonna do something. I'm just gonna buy whatever the fuck I want to buy, unless it's like something, unless I like lynching dudes from a tree. Like I'm buying the product if I like it. It is what it is. Because when you start getting into semantics about oh well, I can't support this, I then like it, it's just a, a runaway train. It's a free for all. Because eventually you don't get caught up. And you can start to actually backtrack and shit like that too. Like I said, uh, hardhead, um, I'm gonna need your daughter to pipe down, hold it down. Oh, my fault. Tell your daughter to hold it down. <laughs> Are you barking on a little child right Absolutely. now? Absolutely. I ain't gonna have that little girl mess up my podcast. She ain't been alive long enough to mess up my podcast. Oh, shit. You're sick. You're sick. Ain't nobody worrying about no two year old nigga. Shut your ass up. Yeah. Hold it down. Why? Um, yeah, like I said, I like crunching my games. I don't know what they talking about. I mean, sometimes we all got to crunch at work in our real life. We're all probably crunching right now before the holidays so we can relax. I'm surprised mm-hmm. I ain't seen no outrage about this because, you know. You know why? Because it's, um, it's Atlas and um, From Software. They're media darlings. Yeah, they ain't going to keep like, the same my- energy. Yeah, had this oh, been yeah. like Microsoft or Nintendo. Oh, let let it have been Sony. Oh, oh God. Oh yeah. All right. Let it have been Sony. Yeah. All right. Uh Jack, you want to do the super chats? All right, brother. Oh, let me refresh and make sure everything good. Shit. All right, super chats. Chip. Scroll them. Let me scroll them. I hope somebody gave you a uh, Titans chat. They got what the best team of the league. Yo, how did you get smoked twice in two plays and carried off the second play? Uh, Super chats for this week. We got Alice PSX. He says, Callista Protocol Dev don't deserve a holiday. They should be in the office working away, not having orgies in the game awards, charging $70 for trash. Hey. (laughs) Hold on, protocol was 70? Yes. 
Oh my god. Yeah. And like I said, bro, it's getting to where gaming, I shouldn't be it, the tolerance level is crazy. Expectations is crazier. Like, is that where the conversation came where Alex and BG were arguing on what what a scam is or not? No. Uh he that was that was just uh games in general. There wasn't a specific games, a specific game. He was just saying the um they're not offering you more for the ten dollars, so he's saying it's a scam. You, you know that guy's a fucking idiot, right? Hey man. Because like you just said, Dollars there's a donuts. difference there's a difference between something not being a good deal mm-hmm. and there's a factual definition of what a scam is. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. You know. <laughs> like, God damn. If you know what you're buying and you understand that it's not, it's not better, yeah, because of the ten dollars. My navy green t shirt, Alex. Yeah, it's Oh, God. <laughs> I guess you know it's not a scam. You it, there has to be some type of a uh, lie or misinformation it's given to you. Yeah, some deception. Yeah, like like how do people not know that? Oh my God, the the, the like oh how do people not know the basic definition of words? Mm-hmm. PC RoboCop. That's what I called them. You know, indeed. No, no shame. No shame. Go ahead, Jack. Alice PSX again says Kofi about to slap Alex like Will Smith. <laughs> oh wow. Facts. That's fine. That's you keep fine. that you keep that man wife out your out your yeah. mouth. Hey man, I will... listen. We if we if we I'm i I'm from I'm I'm on a part of the Discord where we joke and we laugh and we even and you gotta be able to take it as well. So I I'll take yeah, it. But if, photoshopping if people's like kinda lame though. Man. I didn't photoshop nobody. I photoshopped a logo. You know what you did. White man. I photoshopped a logo. You know what's funny? You know what's so funny? Because that's how I know that whoever got mad at that, y'all don't be in the Discord. Because that was literally a year ago and everybody was laughing. We was having a good time. Y'all niggas fake. But, <laughs> yeah, but, but, because y'all fuck niggas. That's why. Y'all but, niggas fake. But it may not be, you know, we receive it differently because we we know you. He don't, he don't know you. like Because listen. But this thing, I, I didn't put that on Twitter. That was an inside joke. All I ever said was he's the king of safe takes. That's all I ever said. But Because here's the thing. I remember the episode when you first came on, right? And I had no idea who you were. And I, I played along, but I was then I was like, oh, yo, who is this F-boy weirdo? You know, I didn't know you. Fire. Fire. I didn't know you. So the so it wasn't as funny to me. Then I learned who, who you were. And I was like, all right, okay. Well, you know, sometimes yeah, you know what? It seems like that's a maybe. Maybe you need to, you know, go go, you know, um, introduce yourself. Say, uh, you know, say you worship Drake, and uh, you know, he just he just be too excited to be around. I'm, like, I'm talking, I'm talking right. my mom right now. <laughs> oh, Alex the groupie is what you're saying? Oh no, I remember the first time I I remember hearing from Tony. I thought Tony was that Morgana days guy. Hello, Tony said I'm excited to do what. <laughs> be I, was, around. I was talking, I was talking about my. You said be around. Me, don't disrespect me like that, bun. Well, God, this was said, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm excited to be around Tony. You are. The, don't, don't make me, don't make me get Steve in here. Come on now. We already had a dissertation on who you truly are behind this mic. Let's not do that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You happy to and be also, here? Also, right. also, <laughs> carry on. Being involved, it down. <laughs> being involved ain't a, ain't a matter of being happy to be somewhere. It's to involve yourself in combo, my nigga. <sighs> Go ahead, Jack. All right, we got Jaquez Thomas or Jaquez Jaquez Thomas. He says, "What's up with this Hades gameplay? Downloading pirated Chris Brown music in 2022? LOL." Um, what? I, I don't get the yeah, I think I think some popped up on during the Hades game. <laughs> he was downloading Uh-oh. Chris. Brown. I'm Uh-oh. C Fig says Bond is on hard heads ass right now. Fire. Then we got Fears of Grace Motivator. You read that donation. He donated again and said, I'm not saying the game is without any flaws, but with that being said, you're still bad, respectfully. Uh, I will say, um, this past month, I learned Bond got a lot more dick eaters than I ever thought he did, though. Them niggas ride for Bond. Like, for real, for real. I don't see him. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> niggas, stop that. Come on, dog. We see what be going on in this group. Mm. I don't know. I don't know why you get niggas mad be riding for bond. I don't know why you be getting mad at another man agreeing with another man. I, it's the internet. I'm not the mad internet. at you at all. It's all jokes to me. I don't know, man. All right. Uh, oh, another, another thing on the Discord because a lot of people are doing. We should do. Um, a lot of people are doing it, which I like. They're very, they've been very proactive about it. But people should have their gamer tags linked in their Discord profiles. Fire. 
I mean, yeah, we already check niggas in Discord. Don't worry oh, about no, that. We, 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 that. We it, it. They've been doing a very good job of it, and I think that should be mandatory. That way, nobody has to question anybody's credibility or anything. We yeah. check niggas the second they stepped into Discord. Yeah. Now. If you got a little girl in me ever, you're automatically banned out the Discord. Yeah, but what? If they got anime a little girl, Abby. anime ah. Abby, in the Discord, they're automatically going to get banned. Speaking of that, uh, Smooth got about 26 days to finish this game. You think he going to do it? Finish no. what game? First Persona time? 5 Royal. Oh, no. No. Mm. Jack, was that all of them? No. Uh, no. Fred Gross Motivator donated again. It got deleted, but I think you already responded to it. Uh, K9 Snow said, if the game had a quick turn, I would have forgiven the FOV issue. Absolutely. Rostar94 says, how BG felt about Callisto, that's how I feel about Sonic Frontier. So many little issues. If fixed, it would be a great game. Sonic, Sonic, Sonic fans are going, going to find a, a, a reason to bring up Sonic, won't they? Won't they? God damn. Everybody talk uh, about Sonic, bro. Sonic fans are literally like vegans. Like, yeah, they just walk around like, yeah, I'm vegan. Like, bro, nobody asked you, dog. <laughs> like, why? Sonic like a religion. Them niggas connect everything to Sonic like it's yeah. Jesus or something. You talk yeah, about Callisto. Like Helga yeah. from fucking hate Arnold with the shrine and shit. Like, bro. Did she end up marrying Arnold in the finale? No. I don't know. Uh, Fears the Grace motivator said, Cope Harder, it's okay to be bad, but this is too much. Yeah, and okay. finally, we have Ruffle Bunt. He says, Shout out to the Sonic Frontiers Warriors Game Award. No, oh, brother. Yeah, somehow Sonic is leading in that uh in that um user voted category i don't even know what it is but somehow it's leading mm -hmm. above got a huge, yeah. I above, a huge fan base that's no because like Mentally some of the Ill like check base. mark like some guy named game cage he got a check mark on twitter so he's actively trying to get people like vote for sonic but it's even more interesting than that because sonic fans and genshin impact fans beefing them mm. over the uh over that vote they try to fight for fight for the top spot weirdos mental illness Mm -hmm. that's it alright um good show All right y'all had fun y'all had fun we had definitely a great day it's always a great day when the Eagles win okay the Cowboys played today yeah they played tonight yeah. you know you know what the best part about today was BG the Giants and the Redskins tied uh, <laughs> the which... best thing possible for the Eagles doesn't that mean they both still in the running to make the playoffs it, it, it's, like, whole it's, division? It, it, it's essentially a double loss for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, you know, it'd be crazy if the whole NFC East makes the playoffs. That's what people have been talking about. Like, that would be the biggest travesty ever because all the teams had to play each other and they all still made the playoffs. Be a study as on trash as that division been for the past, like, oh, five, almost it. 10 years? We're the only that, division. That division been trash for now, a while. We are the only we are the only division of the league that has a Super Bowl winner for every team. But but we're talking recently. Recently, nigga. Like, the past five years, y'all was getting called the NFC least. Like, it's, they yeah. really coined the nickname for how bad the division was. But would you rather be the least or the NFC? Or what about the NFC Norris division? Uh, who that? The Chicago Bears and shit like that? Yeah. Re remember uh, Lions, when the Seattle Bears, Vikings, Packers. Remember when the Seahawks... Yeah, that's disgusting. Made Remember when the Seahawks made the playoffs with six wins? <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't even know that happened. That's funny. And that wasn't that long ago either. Oh, yeah, they were six and ten, right? <laughs> I think like six, nine, and one or some weird shit. <clears throat> um, I don't even know how that's possible because the whole NFC got to be playing like ass for something like well, that. They won, that a division. they won a division. But I'm saying like, yeah, I guess they only won the division games. <laughs> yeah, 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 you just got to win yeah. your division. To get There's in. a bunch of Teams that went seven and nine and made the playoffs. Uh, I really but, wish the NBA would do that. That'd be fire. Everybody in the NBA do. makes the playoffs. Like literally, only four teams have don't have an opp opportunity to make the playoffs or make it into the playing game. Who's that? And I, I really hate the playing game. The playing game was just so LeBron could make the playoffs. Oh, he's talking about the NBA. No. Let's go to After yeah. Dark. Uh, um, <clears throat> do these uh, let's do these outros. Start out with Tony, ain't it? Because I know it's like it's like, it like two o'clock over there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Catch some Z's. Yes, sir. Catch some Z's. Amen. Yes, <laughs>
<laughs> anyway. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Yokio. Let's check out that Marvel. I'm kicking uh, niggas out of my glass friends. Yes, sir. Uh, if you on the way for that and God of War, um, spoiler alert for the God of War review. That shit boring, but hold it down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I think Can we gotta we hold it down. Count for the podcast. Yeah, no, I think we got we got we gotta like put a, a, a hold it down like you know limit in place because y'all gonna burn that joint out. Y'all gonna burn it out. It's gonna be bad. Hey, but hold it down. You know, <laughs> funny enough, a week ago we were talking about how it's an art form to time it well, and this nigga been cranking it the whole podcast. This, this is why you like, can't give niggas nothing, dog. They gonna just run it into ground, won't they? Jeez. Usually in Discord, yeah, we hear about. I need to hold about, it down. To hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> we usually we hear it about twice a night. This nigga done cranked it every other si- every other clip, every other Max. clip. Hold it down. Please, Jeez, man. Please. Let, let it breathe. Let it breathe, Tony. We know you. We gotta fill the meter back up. Fill, <laughs> fill, 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 fill the meter back up, bro. Hold it down. Right. Got an ammo drop for the... Come on. <laughs> All right. Alex? Yes, sir. After dark, here we come. Tyrek, load up the clip. We about to fight Bond for three hours. <laughs> Bond for three hours? We got a football game on, dog. The Cowboys are playing. Yeah. All right. Jazzy? Uh, I guess uh, shout out to Digimon Survive. It actually sold 500,000 copies, so it's success. Big up to you. And also... River City Girls C is supposed to be. I don't know when that's coming out since the game is coming out. It's, it's out in Japan. Japan already. It's out in Japan already. Yeah, I don't so I don't know what's going on. They got the month already started, so it's whatever. Uh, catch you later. See you, Jazzy. Got Digimon doing Metroid numbers. That's fine. I mean, it's an obscure franchise, and plus being a visual novel, wasn't going to make that much money in the first place. Did y'all watch the Digimon cartoon? Did y'all really watch that? Hell yeah. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon yeah. are the champions. Yeah, we if, I, if, I, if I didn't watch it, I'd be the biggest fraud up on here. Shit. Yeah, that nigga Jazzy love him from Digimon. Oh, I, used to, I, used to, I used to change the channel. I go to Nicktoons and they go to Wow. Uh, Hardhead? Yeah, what this fake ass Pokemon? Um, oh, it's 7WD. Catch me on Twitch.tv. That's it, dog. It's right. probably going to be the last time I pull up for a full podcast. Yeah, I remember when the Digimon Emperor, that one little Asian kid, was whipping them niggas. Oh yeah, he was a slave master. <laughs> he was literally enslaving Digimon, uh-huh. and whipping them. Yeah, I remember that. I actually remember that episode. He had a mask yeah, on, but... and he was sitting on the throne or some shit. Yeah, yeah he had like control spires or like, mm-hmm. uh, what do you call Protoss pylons and shit. Mm-hmm. Didn't they bring him over <laughs> to their side? Like he became a good guy eventually, or something, something like that. Like he started whipping for good. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, Jack. Nah. Hey man, good podcast this week. Thanks for tuning in. All right, running like a faggot jam. <laughs> bond, bond, of course. You know the best team in the NFL, the best quarterback, the best defense, the best offense, the best everything. Unfortunately, Jack had to run into it this week. <laughs> Sorry about your damn luck, Jack, but it is what it is. All right. I wonder if the Eagles gonna turn out to be a regular ass season team like the Green Bay Packers. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Green Bay Packers aren't any team. Also, uh, God of War streaming will resume either shit tomorrow or Wednesday. We'll see. Uh, thumb thumbs. Thank you for the uh, 9.99 donation super chat. Appreciate it. And uh, everybody did their outro right. So let's get out of here. Go to After Dark. We're gonna answer everybody's right. answer everybody's questions. All right. Peace. Digimon or Pokemon? Neither. Yu-Gi-Oh. Digimon by landslide. No. Yeah. Right. Plenty of tried and plenty of fell. You can run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Right. I know my bro can't got me. See, that's a black bond that can't be broken. Nah. No Idris Alba, I'm a black bond. Damon a scoping. All black panel. You can never try playing as token. Yeah, we playing games, but now one of us playing a joking. Not at real. all. <laughs> oh, wait. Then Jack Move came in with the trophies. Damn. God in the lane of his own. Like, how can you gamers approach me? Till so Kiss moved to body you in Halo. Then send your family an angel emoji. Damn. Oh, 
should have known, dog. You ain't got enough Series X. Is blind, got all the answers. No, you ain't got to ask Siri questions. All the latest gaming news got to be here to check it. Since 2015 and beyond, I'm just here to respect it. When you at the top of your tier, it's a blessing. From the bottom, so no way we appear to be desperate. Nah. This for anybody doubting, I'm clearing a message. Yeah. And if you ever had a problem, plenty I'm here to correct plenty and fell. You could run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that want to test it, I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hill. Right. I know what it is, man. Weapon World Podcast, y'all know what we got in the building, man. We got BG. We got Cash Move, we got Jack Move, we got Black Bond, I mean. Blandrew, I mean, what you... You can't off strafe us, bro. Like, the strafe too strong.